It's time for another adventure in Hell Let Loose. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. Buying any game on the Xbox Store. Consider using that affiliate link in the video description as it takes you to the Microsoft Store, supports the content. How am I getting shot? I'm like literally in the spawn. And to f <laughs> I didn't realize the match was that. Okay, wow. Great, so consider becoming a channel member. Cool perks, emotes, icons, all that great stuff. The longer your channel member, the cooler your your symbol thing is. And yeah, this is the big new British update, I guess. I, I don't know. It's It adds a bunch of achievements, it looks like. Yeah, this, this lobby's filling up fast. Okay, I think this will be fine. So what what is the situation here? Are we on the last position or are we defending? 64 players. Oh, there's only like six minutes left. Does that mean we're attacking? Man, this game needs a server browser. Like seriously, if there if there was ever a game that needed a server browser, it's it's this one. It is like ridiculously impossible to like actually find quality servers. Okay, well, this this will be a good opening, I guess, to practice for all of the death that's to come, I suppose. And I'm like, yeah, you know, like, what are the odds? What do you mean, turn back? Turn back. Oh, are we going that way? Let, let me take a look at my map. Oh, we're defending? Is that what this is? They have six minutes left to defend, or to capture all the positions? Oh, uh, okay. Now it's telling me to turn back that way. Where am I going? So that's our position, is it not? Or I am so confused right now. I, I am genuinely, genuinely confused as to like, what the direction is here. Okay, so we are... Okay, so we're here. Bitter Springs is back there. Definitely looks like it's the point where we're supposed to be headed. We've got this great spawn right here. The German fuel dump is over there. The German fuel dump. So I'm assuming, yeah, turn back. Okay. So we need to head over to the Bitter Spring. I don't know. Maybe I'm on, like, the edge or something? I was like, why is it telling me I can't go that way? Anyways, okay, so we are we're, we are heading this way. Okay. All righty. Yeah. No, but seriously, this game you only find a few servers. I don't know. It, it it genuinely needs a server browser because it's just like it it sucks having like back out back into matches where it's like you know you know the match is gonna be like over or there's not any people in the lobby and it's just like ugh. Anyways, it's so thrilling to be back in Hell Let Loose. It's always such a fun time playing this game. Yeah, the dynamics of war are ever so exciting. Yeah, if you think about it, I think we actually had like a position that was like on their front line. I mean, we're defending the Bitter Spring. I guess they're kind of spawning from over there. There's an enemy tank. I guess it depends if we're doing like a bit of a offensive defense or like what's going on there. Anyway, so if people don't whine about my running of the squad, I'm just gonna slap one of these bad boys down here. So that our team can spawn here for whatever reason. Assuming I'm still in the squad and you know there's people in it. So uh yeah, this should, this should be so much fun. I'm kind of debating on if I should turn off the film grain, but it definitely makes it feel more like World War-esque. Makes it feel more like a movie with film grain. Alright, so we clearly have that position. There's 70 players. Where is everybody, like, attacking from? Where are they going from? I feel like just, like, a random dude that's just, like, walking in a cold forest. Can you imagine walking in this cold of a forest and holding a metal gun like this? Ugh. I feel like your skin would get stuck to it. Ew. 
What's up, dude? How you doing, man? Is there, like, somebody out there? Oh, I see bad guys. Alright, it's time to be a hero and answer the call of duty. You know, there's not room for more than just me and my bros on this battlefield. If we go over here and there's a bunch of guys, I'm gonna have to clean out an insurgency. Ugh. Yeah, I kind of feel like a dude is just going for like a jog on like a snowy day. <laughs> I could have sworn there was bad guys over here. Are you bad? Are you alive? Nah, you're dead. Oh, I'm getting shot at, guys. The most action I've had this this game so far is, is shoveling a dead body, so that's exciting. I think there might be guys over there. But I don't know for sure. I think somebody was shooting at me. Just trying to go for my morning jog. And then there's danger everywhere. Danger. But I like to punish my team killer. Yes. I love how I ran around for six and a half minutes. Saw no one. Except for like one or two enemies. And then my teammate shot me. So that was... That was lovely. At least they keep you on your toes in this one. Hey, this is, we got a good outpost spawn there. I wonder if we put that down. Yeah, looking at him. Anyways, I should probably start drinking because this is the only way I'm going to get through this. What, what about Tom Hanks? And, uh, because, you know, we always we have such riveting and engaging combat. Whenever we play Hell Let Loose. Yeah. It's always such a grand time. That's an enemy tank? Can I, like, grenade it or something? Whoa! Okay. Well, there goes the enemy tank. Jeez, alright. Do I need a bandage? Guess I'll use a bandage, I suppose. We won! Good job! High fives all around, guys. Dishonored one, yeah, it's a pretty good game. Pretty good. I got a hundred gamer score for that. A hundred gamer score. Win twenty five offensive battles. Alrighty. Look at me, I'm so good. So what I do, guys? I win. I'm like one of the best Hell at Least players there ever was. I just win good matches all the time. People are like, how do you learn to win so much in Hell at Least? And I was like. Loose hell was always something that I let go. Karen Tan, cool. I am hoping we get to play on the new map a bit today, though. That would be nice. Yeah, kill 100 players with headshots. I almost have that, really? It just doesn't seem like me to be killing people in this game. Revive 10 players? You can revive people in this game? How? Everybody just dies instantly. That's hilarious. Revive 10 players. Okay. I always create an infantry squad in case anybody ever wants to join and help me out in my conflict. Alright, we'll spawn over by the town center and uh, deploy and go into combat over there, which should be good. What is squad? Uh, squad is a really intensive, tedious online multi. We have a live stream of it if you miss that. Yeah, we do, we do, have, a, we do have a video of that one. We, we did a stream of it, Kevin and I. It's on PC only, though. We're losing the town center. Oh, no. Bum, 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 bum. There's going to be some loose hell being let out here, guys. Seriously, how do you revive people, though? Because, like, I've never seen anyone survive, like, one bullet or something in this game. You just kind of die. Well, I mean, you can get shot once and survive, but I mean, like, I don't think I've ever seen anyone get, like, downed. You're usually just dead dead. It just seems almost comical that there's, like, reviving in this. Maybe it's, like, a medic-type role thing. Dude, climb the wall before I get shot, man. Jeez. 
that a guy over there? Or is that a dead body? Somebody's leg kind of moving through there. Yeah, there's something weird going on with the explosions in this game, I gotta say. Graphically, they're a bit off. I'm just gonna put another post down. What are we getting shot by? Hey look, it's filet my crack. Am I just gonna get like blasted when I come around the corner here? Oh, I thought he was dead already! Oh yeah, I got him guys. I did it. I killed somebody. Oh, now I'm dead. I thought I was the hero there. Oh, hello from France. Am I looking forward to the Xbox showcase? I mean, somewhat, I suppose. When I win, I win. That's true. Is she even part of a cut system or something? To the revives? <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, this is not a game where you revive people, right? Yeah. You don't want more World War II COD games? Well, I do, so... Bleh. Graphically, I'm a bit off? Why? I thought I was graphically high definition. Oh well, it is what it is. Yeah. Anyways. I don't know, I was, I was talking with my... Oh, we lost all our positions? Oh, damn, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, I'm in the love squad. That's nice. So yeah, I was I was talking with uh, with my Xbox like showcase people today about doing because we're gonna co-stream the event. So I was sort of chatting with them. Uh, they they offered to let me know when the copywritten music is playing so that I can like mute it. So I'm sort of debating if I want to like have the music play and take some copyright hits or if I just want to like not have music play during certain segments. I'm really not too sure. I'm trying to decide. Because I don't know if people are going to be frustrated that there's not like, you know, some kind of weird audio mixed tune going on or whatnot. So I'm still, I'm, I'm talking to them about it. I'm, I'm still, uh, I'm trying to make a push. Like I was, I was talking with one guy and then he was bumping me to this other dude where he's like, see people don't, or you know, streamers want a music free version. And I was like, yeah, I do. That, that would be great. So that's day one of the discussions for that. Usually it takes about a, a couple weeks of like chatting with them before we get like, you know, before I know what's going on with the showcase fully. So yeah, um, that's coming up. So we, we, are, we are planning to co-stream the event, like I said. It's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm in the discussion phases with them in regards to like what that looks like. It may sound silly, but this is something we have to do every year. Can't believe they shot up our autonomous vehicle. Ah, oh, just kidding, it's not autonomous, it's like World War II. They don't even have, I don't even think they would have the concept of autonomous vehicles at that point. What do you mean, a person not driving a car? This is ridiculous. Seriously, it would be like sci-fi silliness. Oh, how technology advances ever so quickly, but ever so slowly at the same time, it feels like. Huh, he successfully deployed smoke. Genius. Did I kill that guy or did somebody else? Did I kill him? I literally don't know if I killed him or if that was like just some other body that's there. I literally doth not know. No, it looks like somebody else killed that dude. Alright, let's, let's take a look here and just see what's going on. So, the pumping, we're in enemy territory, the pumping territory. So, where is that at? Is this a tug of war? It looks like a tug of war. So, we need to get over to the pumping station to take that back while defending Lactaut. How much time do we have? We've got 30 minutes, guys, so not a lot of time. we got to make work. 
Especially since the tides of war are so against us. I see a guy over there. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get across this large gap of territory without getting shot in the face like 16 times. Got him. See, that's how they lose player. Oh, no, never mind. I died. A cheap temporary license to play games under their IP that are coming, so you don't have to worry about it being striked. It's the music is is the problem, right? It's it's the music. And then also, there's always usually, like, a Bandai Namco thing. I'm not saying, like, I don't know anything in the showcase yet. We're still in, like, the preliminary talks. But there's always, like, a Bandai Namco game where it's, like, it gets, like, a copyright hit just because it's, like, a Bandai Namco trailer, and they always do that. It drives me nuts. But, yeah, it's, um... Yeah, like, the one year they paid for it so that none of the music would get copyright claimed, but it's, like, it still got claimed, which was funny. But, like, I don't know. It's it's a little annoying, because, you know, obviously, we do, like, the pre-show, we do the during show, we do the post-show. And it's, like, I, I consider it basically, like, a freebie for people on the channel, because I always get a copyright hit. But, like, obviously, I don't want to strike. Like, if I get a claim, it's, like, whatever. I don't make money for it. You know, it's not like the streams make anything anyways, but... Uh, you know, a strike is obviously very detrimental, so... Yeah, that's kind of how that is. Bum, 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 bum. So yeah, I'm kind of... I'm just debating on how I want to go about it. Because I'm sure people will be like, I can't hear the music or something. And it'll be like, well, you know... And it's like, uh... You don't want a damaged experience having to watch it, like, with me and stuff like that. So it, it's something like... Yeah. Anyways, we're we're in preliminary talks about it. I didn't think they would get back to me so fast, but like, yeah, that was today. I did a couple emails back and forth talking about it. So I'm sure I'll hear more soon. If Blur was owned by Activision, split second by Velocity. So why was the sequel canceled? Because uh, they shut the studio down. Oh, actually, Blur didn't make enough money. Blur was a, a failure. From a monetary perspective. Anyways, it's at that point of the stream where I'm like, hey yo, be sure to like the stream. Subscribing's great, donations, cool. Consider becoming a channel member. Cool perks, emotes, icons, all that great stuff. There's channel member gifting, the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and great times. There's the Xbox Store affiliate link for your Xbox Store purchases, and the Amazon Store affiliate link as well. And GamerHeadquarters.com, I write stuff on my site occasionally. Yeah. Yeah, so it's music, plus some gameplay stuff gets claimed, so I'm just chatting with them. You just cut a switch? Well, I hope you enjoy the, the switch. Good good luck learning all the, the ropes and stuff on that one. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm not in the U.S. Hello, folks. Uh, I, I mean, I don't specifically know what we're going to see at the showcase. I mean, we did do the big rumor chat video a week or two back, and it, you know, kind of went over everything we're expecting. Uh, I do have a written version of that that I put up today, if that would help you. But like, yeah, I mean, you know, I've already put out what I kind of expect to see at the showcase, so we'll have to see what happens. Yeah, I don't get why some companies still claim trailers, especially if they want them like promoted and stuff like that. So yeah, it's just like so. What happens generally is like when you do gameplay. You know, like I said, the streams they really don't make anything at all like they they don't make much money they're technically not worth it but you know if i get like memberships or donations or something like that then there's some value there and you know you can gain some subscribers blah 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 streaming's fun good way to show off a game anyways you know the real money would be in like replay value uh but what happens is you get like a copyright claim and a claim is like something where it's like this bit of music, it could be three seconds, it could be like, well, it's, it's usually, I think it's at least five seconds, but it might be five seconds, it could be like minutes of, you know, audio, it could be whatever. Actually doing Quake Remastered the one time, I wasn't aware that it was Nine Inch Nails <laughs> that did the soundtrack. So that was the longest copyright claim I ever got, it was an hour and a half, because it was a Nine Inch Nails, like, track beat or something, I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, that was weird, but yeah, so claims just basically mean you don't make anything off this video from during or after, and it's just whatever company. Then you can like get rid of the claim by like scrubbing the audio and blah 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 with YouTube's tools. That usually takes a day or two, and then you know from there it might work and it'll be okay. Copyright strikes are really bad because they like 
take away a lot of stuff. I'd have to look at them, like what you lose at this point, because it changes all the time for YouTube. But usually you lose like access to streaming for like a month, you're not able to make money off of stuff. Like they take away your monetization of like uh, options and the strikes are really bad. You get like three strikes, your channel just gets terminated. You know, all that kind of stuff. So it's like, you know, strikes are, are not great. And there's different types of strikes as well. And yeah, so that's, you, you definitely want to avoid those. But copyright claims, not the end of the world. And again, when you're streaming something like the Xbox Showcase, it's like, you know, it's it's kind of expected. The first year where they're like, oh, you won't get claims. I was like, oh, awesome. And then I got claims. And I was like, okay, whatever. That's just what it is. So like I said, I take it as a bit of a freebie. But I do have to do my, like, due diligence that I'm not going to, like you know, stream it and then have, like, my livelihood totally just destroyed because I showcased, uh, you know, talked over an Xbox conference thing. Because at the end of the day, Xbox doesn't care if anything happens to my stuff. They just, they really don't give a damn. But, you know, I can chat with them and blah, 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 and get, like, info and understand, like, what the situation's like before doing it. And I know it might sound like a shocker, but yes, I do need to make money to make a living. Otherwise, I can't do what I do. There's no points in it, I might as well go do something else. So, yeah, I know, shocker, but I do need to make money in life. Psh, I know, crazy, right? Yeah. YouTube, it's not that bad. So there are text-to-speech donations? I That stuff. So if I wanted to do, like, Streamlabs, I wouldn't be able to stream at high of a quality, and I wouldn't have as many, like, options. It is something that, like, integration-wise is interesting, but... Yeah, I also don't really trust people to, like, um... <laughs> what what they put in and stuff like that too uh i'm also very liable for anything that shows up in my streams on youtube and stuff it's not like twitch where it's like eh. yeah if you liked battlefield will you like this um depends if you've ever played battlefield and you're like i'd like to die in one or two bullets and i'd like way larger maps you know and you want longer respawns? Yeah, sure. Like this, this is essentially like, so Call of Duty, I compare to like Insurgency. If you, you'll like Insurgency if you like Call of Duty, but you want like tactical play where you can die in a bullet. I compare this one to Battlefield where it's like, do you like Battlefield, but you'll want to die in like a bullet or something like that. So this is like a very, very tactical version of like uh, Battlefield. But it's also different, you know, because a lot of people will be so mad about that. They'll be like, oh, Hello Loose is nothing like Battlefield. And it's like, if you're trying to, like, show someone what it's similar to, I think that's, like, sort of the fairest comparison you can make is that it's, like, you know, sort of the concept of large-scale multiplayer. But, you know, it's like a bullet or two will kill you. And, you know, there is a bit more of, like, progressional objective play. But, uh, you know, that's that's kind of the idea there. And OnlyFans? You mean Skyfans? Yeah, I don't think I'd make that much off of it, but it's a nice thought. We actually did reach our uh, subscriber goal to unlock that for last year, because people were <laughs> joking about wanting that. Nine Inch Nails. Yeah, they, they did a... The, the track is... The track is great in, in Quake. I was just like... I was just very surprised when I finished the stream, and it's like... You had an hour and a half or an hour and fifty minutes of like audio claimed. I'm I, I was sitting there being like, I've never had an audio thing that long for because you know copyright claims are like usually a song, right? So it's like three minutes or thirty seconds or ten seconds or something. But I never had one that was like an hour and something. I was like, this is insane. Yeah. Anyway, it's kind of funny. Anyways, that's that's a little bit of how the copyright system works on the YouTube, and you just gotta, you know, you deal with it. Hmm. See, now this is a good spot to kind of pick them off, but I'm also, like, pretty vulnerable. <gasps> Can I revive this guy? I want to get that achievement. I don't know how this works. Is there like a reviving option? <laughs> oh, I want to figure out how you get that achievement for reviving something. <laughs> because I mean, it's in there, right? So there's got to be a way to do it. Yeah, I wonder how you do that in this game. Reviving. 
yeah it, it is crazy yeah like i said it was it was really funny i i don't know i could probably look that up because it's still on the channel but i did get such a chuckle out of like just this this insanely long copyright claim that was just wild oh here we go i wonder if it'll show me on mobile what it was let's see the copyright review issues nine inch nails okay it, it doesn't tell me what part on mobile it just says that i have that and i can like dispute it or mute it on my phone which is a new feature yeah that's a new thing they added but uh yeah it's just kind of funny because it was like this super long segment i was I was very surprised yeah anyways lots of fun lots and lots of fun but uh yeah I don't know, just try to also be transparent in like details on how all this stuff works, because you know, some people are curious of that. And others probably won't tell you, but that's literally how it goes, right? Hmm. Black Tot. I really love that advertising with like the cause that's supposed to be like Campbell soup. I believe that's actually like a based on like a real advertising campaign that Campbell's had. Okay, so it's great that we're like holding this down, but we are going to absolutely lose this match if we don't start getting like some capture going on here. Why am I actually killing people today? This doesn't make any sense to me. Did I get like good at Hell Let Loose? Because that doesn't make sense either. Where did you run off to? Uh huh. -huh. What, what do you think I was gonna shoot you with like three or four bullets and then like let you walk away? Killed that guy too. What is that? Like a triple kill? Did I get a hell let loose triple kill? Is that a hell let loose overkill? Am I on a killing spree? Killing spree. Look at me. Somebody somebody messaged Kevin. Tell tell him I got good on here. Reviving. Well I'll just like what I'm gonna have to like Google it and just be like, how do you revive people in this? Because that is a very funny concept. Oh wow, look at me go. I'm just, I'm killing people, I'm taking lives. We're not winning this match, but I, I feel like I'm winning personally. Whoa. I'm feeling like a real sense of hostility here. I guess I could open up like true achievements. Let's see like what the guide says. My hands are bloodied from all the people I've killed. The SMG, not the greatest for distance shooting. I throw a grenade over there. Oh, I got shot on the back. No. I was doing so well, man. I was ending lives and everything. I guess I could let it go. Yeah, let's let's see. Hell. Let loose. Revive. Not revive. Revive. True achievements. Oh, I, it says it looks like you have to be like a medic character. Hmm. Bandages for healing people. You need the morphine syringe or whatever it's called. It's only for medics. Oh. Huh. Weird. Okay, I didn't even know there was medics in this game. That's hilarious. Seems like a bit of a strange thing to have, but also fits in pretty well. You run way faster in the game now? Is that why I'm so good? Kevin, just let me know you run faster. <laughs> he's, he's like, you run so much faster. I'm like, is that how, I, how I'm able to play good? <laughs> oh, that's funny. That was a great run, right? I killed like six, seven dudes there. That was crazy. They've completely changed the game by allowing us to have just the slightest increment of being able to maneuver and run. It's completely changed this game for me, guys. Game of the year. No, I'm just kidding. There's only one game of the year. And that's Gollum. I think we're doing Gollum tomorrow, guys. We're gonna stream some Gollum. <laughs> <laughs> I got the I got the my precious edition. 
or <laughs> well, I think it's just called Precious, Precious Edition. But yeah, I've got, I've got the super version of Gollum. We lost. What a shocker. Yeah, Gollum. That kills me. The Gollum. Freaking hell. Apparently, it's like one of the worst reviewed games of the year. But I'm very much looking forward to seeing what it has to offer. A deep emotional story of intrigue, gloss, and golemness. The question is, will I find the one ring to rule them all? Kevin was laughing that I'm doing well. I'm like, yeah, seven kill streak, man. I think he's playing on PC or something. El Alamein. Is this I think this is a new map, this one. You wonder what Gollum will be like? It's gonna be a masterpiece in storytelling, is what it's gonna be. A masterpiece in storytelling. Okay, so... Let's spawn by the airfield hangars. What was I gonna look up? Hmm... Nothing, I guess. Okay, let's do this. I got the land chest. This looks like a new weapon. I'm, I'm in the love squad. Whenever I join this game, I always end up in the love squad, which is fine, you know. It's nice to be loved, but in your love squad. I feel like a true hero of the love team. We fight with passion and the desire to end lives. They knocked his cap off, guys. Look, it's Sandy. Yeah, this is this has got to be like a new level because it's like I am I am not familiar with the sand map in this game. This this feels wrong. I'm used to like crappy, dirty areas or snow. This feels weird. Don't worry. This the smoke will allow us to run across. Yes. Let's kick this dude. I was kind of hoping the smoke would, like, kind of spread out a little bit more than that. You know what I mean? That was, like, really, really not very far-reaching smoke. Like, that was... Yeah, that, that did not... I Like, I imagined it would go... We could run across and, like, sit on the, the dunes and we'd be able to strategically do stuff. That, that did not work out how I hoped it would. Okay, so now we're all the way back at our quarry. Great Britain. I don't feel so Great Britain. Yes, sure. Yes, vote to kick that guy. I voted against? No, I did want to kick him. It looks like the voting thing doesn't work at all. Or it doesn't work quite properly. Probably because it's like a pop-up window over top of everything. Private Lee remains in the game. I don't care about Private Lee. I'm here to, like, walk around, get shot from one stray bullet, and then have to spend, like, 20 minutes waiting to respawn. Because, you know, the respawn's in the stake forever. Can I build this? What is this green shape? Hmm. Maybe I'm not the right class for that. I'm just a leader. Alright, okay, so we are at the quarry. Getting shot at from somewhere. So we're trying to push and try to hold this area. Is there a way to turn off the vote kick system? Because that is really getting annoying seeing that constantly. Like, genuinely annoying. Like, that is the third time in, like, a minute that we've seen that screen. Okay, I get it. He remains in the game. I don't care. Unbelievable, man. I'm just trying to, like, do my thing. Why is that freezing like that? That's so weird. Okay, anyways. Hmm. Gollum. So Gollum should be neat. I got that downloaded. What else did I get today? I got, uh... Dice Legacy, which I guess we're gonna have some codes to hand out for soon. And the new League of Legends game. And I've got Company of Heroes 3 I'm working on, too. Yeah, there was a video for Nightmare Reaper up today. It's like a throwback shooter thing. Wow, okay, so we're just gonna constantly have to deal with vote kicks, like, every two seconds already. Yeah, that's not gonna get abused at all in this. 
Yeah, I get it. Sergeant Fatty remains in the game. That's great. Great for Sergeant Fatty. Ugh, unbelievable. Oh, it looks like I hit him there, eh? There was some blood coming out. Sauron used 20 rings or something? Hey man, everybody's got a certain thing they like the most. And sometimes you put together just one really cool ring and everybody likes it. I am so sick of these votes. Is there is there not a feature just to get rid of them? Like, is there settings where I could just be like, I do not want to see this crap on my screen. Reset hints, no. Show command messages, show chat for new messages. Hide markers, name play view distance. No, I don't see that. There's 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 no option to get rid of the I can have a clan tag? Oh sick. I'm part of a clan now, guys. How do I get rid of the dumb things where it's like kicking people? I don't want to see that message on my screen constantly. It's like when you're playing Battlefield 2042 and you have to see all those dumb messages that the PC community sends up there. It's like, I hate this game. This game sucks. And I'm like, the game's been out for like a year. Why are you still playing it if you hate this game? It's just, oh man, it drives me crazy. I really don't understand some people in general. I don't understand people. They're utterly confusing, but whatever. Okay. Hmm. The quarry captured, all right. Now we just gotta like, hold this down and wait. Kind of a little boring in that regard, but all right. So wait, 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 we've, we've captured the quarry. But we can't capture anything else. So I'm pretty sure that it just means we're on defense. We're just defending our last position. How much time do we have left? 23 minutes, ha. Huh. Good luck for us on this one. But you know, cool looking map. No sandy terrain. It's actually weird, like it doesn't really feel like it fits You know the game almost. I'm just so used to it not looking like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Used to completely different environments in this one. So seeing something that is lively like this is off. Hmm. But hey, they did add some new achievements and stuff too. Apparently Molotovs are a big thing, unless that was a previous update that I missed, but... Yeah, you get like an achievement if you get like burned alive by like a Molotov. Also notice the performance is a little... iffy on this map. I, I hurt him, but I didn't kill him? Okay. Like lying down in the open, aren't I? Hmm. Not really a lot of cover on this one, is there? Oh, that was a good shot. Hello there. Nine months fillet? Someday you too can be a diamond thing. Yeah, you can't disable the messages in 2042, even though there's, like, the option. Just, ugh, man, that game. It's like, it gets all the small stuff wrong, and all the big stuff, too. It is just, like, such a weird mess. Anyways, guys, it's been a while. Be sure to like the stream. Subscribing's great. Donation's cool. Consider becoming a channel member. Cool perks, emotes. Oh, wow, that is some, like, there. Uh... 
Yeah. Channel memberships. Awesome. There's channel membership gifting. The Patreon option. The Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and great times. The Xbox Store affiliate link and the Amazon Store affiliate link as well. But yeah, like I said, I'm pretty excited and pumped to play some Gollum tomorrow. I can't wait to see what Gollum's like. It's gonna be one of my proudest streams. So it's dropping like 20 FPS here? That's interesting. Why is the frame rate tanking so much? You think I got that guy? He looks kind of dead. Actually, how close am I getting to this? 84. I need to kill 16 more players with headshots so I get that achievement. I didn't even realize I killed that many people, let alone 84 with headshots. Who would have thought that I would have killed that many people in this game? Especially with headshots. Then again, you know, it looks like one bullet and they just like explode, so. Yeah, playing defensively in this game could be a little boring, I gotta say. Alrighty. You know, unless there's like good pressure, but this just kind of seems like a bunch of dudes just sprawling out over the desert. Hmm. This actually gives you some pretty good cover, you know. These like really rocky, outcroppy little little spots, kind of neat. Hmm. Does anyone get on like the left side? Because that seems to be where all the enemies are. I feel like I'm just gonna get shot because I'm out in the open. Go, 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 go! Man, the performance is like tanking here. Oh, I'm in enemy territory? Okay. Or is it like server lag? I really can't tell. Feels like it's performance. This game did have performance issues when it launched, but they did clean. Really? What was that? Ugh, dude. To the other rings in Lord of the Rings? I'm sure there's some kind of convoluted extended universe backlog write-up thing you could find on it, I'm sure. Or you could also just bask in the glory that, like, you know, there's all these rings that are, like, spread out. Do you think, like, Gollum would lose his mind of all the, the good rings? Hey, man. That guy was a hero to those that he ruled with an iron fist. <laughs> Question of day, was Sauron really that bad? Those propaganda posters say he was a hero. Yeah, I gotta say, I am pretty bummed out though that Gollum's not gonna be game of the year. I wanted to live in a world where Gollum could be game of the year. <laughs> the greatest of all time. Gollum. Yeah. Killed in action, yes, I see that. Looks like they're gonna overthrow our position. But yeah, this game is also a lot of, like, waiting. Waiting for spawns. The funniest thing is when you wait 45 seconds to spawn, and then you get, like, shot once across the map, and you're like, no, and then you have to wait, like, another 40 seconds, and you're like, why must my punishment be more severe? Yeah. Cause it's like a long, like 40 seconds is a long time. It's like, what do you do in that amount of time when you're dead for that long? It's like, you're just, you're just waiting. Like you just get bored. Oh, and I also put in my request for super mega baseball today. And, um, trying to, I didn't realize Street Fighter was coming out so soon. So I'm trying to find somewhere to request that one. I think I was too late for Lego drive. I, I think I should have pushed to get like, you know, that a little faster. The respawn times tire you? How do you think I feel having to sit here and like wait that long after like, like there was one time, I think it was like two streams ago where I like spawned, insta died, 
you know, you get like 40 seconds, and then 30 seconds, and then I spawn, insta died, 40 seconds, and it's like, ugh, the spawn time is just killer. Ooh, we lost our up position. See, yeah, 40 seconds, and then another 40 seconds. It's like, it's just not fun to play in that regard. But that is the game, you know. That's just how she goes. What about the stretch goals, Filet? We're never gonna hit any stretch goals. Growth is so crappy and slow this year. Hmm. It is what it is, though. You gotta ride the ups and the down waves of the YouTube. I did get my interviews done today. I, I like, last night, before I went to bed, I created this, like, ex extensively long list of all the stuff that I, like, need to get done. And today, like, I went, you know, had to pick up my sister from the airport, which I timed exactly right. I didn't even have to wait in the, like, the thing list, or, like, area, because, you know, you go to the airport, sometimes you get like, go in the waiting area, and then you go pick someone else up. And I was like, I timed it, like, just perfectly that I drove all the way there, and I didn't even have to stop. I just went, she was right there, just coming out of the gate of the airport. I was like, yes! But anyways, yeah, when I got home after getting that all out of the way, I was just, like, just knocking things off my list. I got the, the Zelda written review done, uh, you know, for that Tears of the Kingdom. I got the, uh, the interviews edited, uploaded, ready to go for whenever I want to put those out. I applied for the Stampede. I... What else I did? I inquired about the Xbox event. I did, like, I, I knocked off a good third of my list just today. I was very proud of myself. Is that a hawk? Oh, no, that's a plane. Yeah, I was, I was getting stuff done today. Nothing too riveting getting done, but I, I got stuff done today. I was very proud. It was not a good recording day for work, but it was a good getting work done day for work. Is that that new flamethrower? How do you use that thing? Going to be like a pyro class? Ah, just saw that coming, man. Alone in the Dark prologue. I would... The, is that what was announced today? I saw an Alone in the Dark trailer. I didn't know there was a prologue. Sauron? Well, he's like, he's more of like a big bad guy menacing in the backdrop of things. He's supposed to be the evil that you don't deal with directly while you, you know, deal with other evils in Lord of the Rings. That's the idea of it. He's a super, super bad guy that's like menacing is built through the people that talk about him and you know, the forces he commands. The story is not really about him. It's just like he's, you know, an overall arcing background thing there. I'm back on the running sim. I live for the running sim. I love it. You know, I gotta get my laps in, right? It's called exercise. That's how I stay so fit. I just play hell at loose. I play this in VR so I can run. <laughs> is that an enemy? Oh, that's our teammate tank. I was like, is that an enemy tank? No, that's a howitzer? I think, right? I'm stuck. Alright, here we go. Again, I can't tell if it's server lag or just like bad performance in this one. I really can't. Ordered. Cromwell and Corey. Okay. Well, it seems like with our armor, we're kind of holding the cliff side now, so that's riveting. Okay, going up there is death. I'm gonna try to get up on these rocks a bit. Because they like to pour up there on that other side. I think this would be a good, like, flanking bit. Why is this enemy territory? Ugh. I'm hearing bullets. I'm not liking that I'm hearing bullets. Am I still an enemy? Yeah, I'm, like, well into enemy territory. Okay. The blazing hot sun. The heat of death. Dead body or somebody lying down?
Teammate, there's a bad guy right there, man. Did I get him? Did I kill him with one single headshot? I'm like, that would be impressive if I did. I don't think I did, but that would be pretty cool if I did, eh? I'm going all Dune on this bad boy. I'm one with the sand. I am the sandworm. Like, you know, in that movie that from that book, Dune? Still blood coming off of that body. Like, there's a guy running all the way over there, but you know, like my little SMG's not gonna really hit that guy. Hmm. It's still in enemy territory. Yeah. We're actually holding the line pretty well. You know, all things considered. You thinking about getting this game? Well, it depends on how intensive you want to be about it. I mean, you could play it either way. Kevin prefers going on the PC side of things, but, you know, it's fine for console, I guess. All things, you know. <laughs> Did you see that little body fly up in the air? Yeah, it's not bad on here. I guess it just depends on how you want to enjoy your shooter experiences, or your tactical shooter experiences. I guess really how good your PC is, I suppose, too, right? Aw, oh, where was that from? Ten times I have a hard time letting go, and sometimes it's easy. Yeah. Hmm. I am assuming it's... Reconnection successful. Okay. That was weird. I'm sorry we lost internet for a second there, guys, for some reason. I do not know why. I'll have to keep my eye on it. I guess that means I'll have to adjust my settings in case the stream randomly disconnects. One sec here. Didn't realize, uh, yeah, it's not like it's stormy or anything like that. Enable auto stop. Okay, there we go. I'll turn that off in case there's a disconnect issue. Ugh. So anyways, hope that wasn't too much of a thing, but yeah, that was a weird internet drop because of like the connection. My actual whole connection to my network didn't drop or anything, so weird. Anyways, let's focus on here. Guys, they're taking the quarry. We only had to defend it for another eight minutes. And, you know, I was kind of laughing when I'm like, oh, we're going to defend this for 22 minutes, but we actually defended it for, defended it for quite a long time there. That was kind of impressive. But yeah, now I gotta wait 30 seconds. Like, what kind of game is fun where you have to wait, like, 40 seconds to respawn? Like, I literally have to sit here and wait a minute of my life to respawn in a video game. That's crazy. Like, that's so much dead time that you're just wasting. What does that do, like, penalizing you like that? It's weird. I don't like it. I don't like having to wait that long. Anyways, we're here in the quarry, especially since I'll probably spawn and die in, like, half a second just... You know, because of where I spawned or something. No, oh, we're still holding the quarry. Okay, so we just gotta hold it for like seven more minutes so we got the win here. Maybe it is my connection having... No, no, the connection's been pretty good on the stream so far. This game has been... I, I can't tell if it's lag or... But I think it's, you know, a little bit of lag, a little bit of performance problems, but... We've definitely lost our forward territory here, that is for sure. Oh, that's a tank! Jeez, yeah, hello there. Hmm. You guys ready to wait another 40 seconds to respawn? I know I am. 
Yeah, because you get, you get 10 seconds on the redeploy, and then you get 40 seconds. That is so stupid. Oh, no, I only had to wait two seconds that time. Lucky me. Yeah, because it's a 10 second plus that. I didn't even think of that for your respawn. It's like, yeah, you still have a 10 second countdown, like, timer thing. Wild. Yeah, I really don't know why it's so laggy this match. The effects when you take damage, it's all like shaky and stuff. Um, I'm doing Gollum. We're, we're gonna stream Gollum tomorrow. I, I did I did get sent my copy of Gollum. I'm really actually disappointed. They're getting rid of the YouTube uh, stories, not the shorts. The shorts I'd like to see get rid of. <laughs> but yeah, no, they're getting rid of, the, rid of YouTube stories. I'm like, why? I actually really like the YouTube stories. It's like a really helpful thing to like, you know, Send like a quick detail to people on the channel that they're getting rid of it. I'm like, damn it. Typical YouTube getting rid of features I actually like using. <sighs> oh well. How else am I gonna communicate when people send hot dogs? Okay, I, I gotta check if like the if it's like plugged in the Xbox to the wire because this connection is perfect. Yeah, no, the Ethernet is plugged in. I'm maybe it's just a server. Freaking hell, man. Sorry, it's like, it's this match is so goddamn laggy, but, you know, it's the game in general just has, like, numerous issues always. Ugh. Yeah. Unbelievable. Hmm. And another fucking 30-second respawn. I don't know why we bother with this game. It, it just, it takes way too long to get into stuff. Alright, let's go. At least we do have a new area to play on, that is nice. But we were doing very well earlier, which was good. I'll always be proud of that streak of seven kills I had. Brings a tear to my eye. So anyways, yeah, we only got three more minutes that we have to defend for, and we've got the win. If I die, I can wait off a third of that time respawning. Lucky me, eh? It's like I'm just sitting on that thing. That's hilarious. This would be a pretty good, uh... <laughs> destructive bit. Oh, where is that coming from? Oh, he got shot. He got off of that thing and he immediately got fired upon. Is that a plane that just went over? It's all that shadow. I think I knocked his helmet off. I'm assuming that's a headshot, eh? Yeah, this match is so weirdly laggy. It's like the last minute or so, so I gotta push hard. I wanna maybe get some extra kills. Killing spree. Aw, oh, I didn't kill any of those guys? I was like spraying bullets right at them, man. It's this map that's super laggy? Oh, okay. Does YouTube stories include polls? No, that's the YouTube community tab. The YouTube stories are like the red dot around like my name if you're on mobile you can tap them and it's just like the quick sort of like info thing you never see those that's where i like post the hot dog quick photos and i do the little stories that show like little clips of like when i'm out in nature and that 
going to really suck when they're gone. They're closing, I think, at the end of June or something. And I'm just like... I liked, I really liked the YouTube stories. It was like a good, quick way to communicate. You know, I get something like 50,000 views a week off of those things, and now they're just going to be gone. I'm like, really? Seems like a, a waste, but I don't know. I don't know what they were expecting out of them. The only thing I was really expecting was people to like the stream. What? Subscribing's great. Donations. Cool. Consider becoming a channel member. Cool perks, emotes, icons, all that great stuff. There's channel member gifting. The Patreon option. The Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and great times. The Xbox Store affiliate link. And the Amazon Store affiliate link, too. Waylooker killed me when I spawned. Thanks, Waylooker. I was going to do a cheers to us winning the match, but, you know, whatever. I guess my teammate wanted to shoot me in the back for some reason. At least we won, so there we go. They were downed, not killed? Who was downed, not killed, though? I shot people. People were dying there. See, I got 12 kills, guys. 12 kills. I was ending lives. So I got six headshots. I'm, I might get that achievement tonight. I've only got to kill 11 more people with headshots, and I get 30 gamer score. It's like, when did I get so good at this game? It's because they increased the running speed so that I can haul ass a little bit better. That's what it was. Eh, let's see if we can find a new lobby. I don't think there's anything else exciting going on today. Probably not. It was a day of work, but not a day of excitement. Mm, new lobby. 30 players isn't enough. 30 players will not quench my thirst for destruction and chaos. Karkov! Karkov! Yeah, they were like Instagram stories, essentially, but they were the YouTube stories. And they were a very fun and useful thing, and I hate that they're gone now. Or that they're going away. Oh, we're defending? Oh, okay. This is a her terrible spot to be. I need to get out of- okay, never mind. I'm not getting out of there, guys. They blew me up. Texas Chainsaw Alpha. I could have got in on that, but I wasn't sure if you were allowed to do filming and stuff, so I was just like, I don't want to bother unless I'm like able to do footage stuff. Just no point to me if I can't, right? Besides, there's Gollum. We've got Gollum to play this weekend. Should we do an incredible 10-hour run of Gollum? Do the stream the whole thing? Every exciting gala moment i wonder if i could get it done in one in one stream you know what i mean i wonder if i can get all of Gollum done in one long stream but then again you know i've already had one painful go at uh at redfall i don't know like i wonder if Gollum is like a hard game or just like a bad game Did they kill all those guys getting out of the truck? Yeah, that giant sea there is kind of blocking my vision, bro. And it impacts my uh, line of sight. Oh, we can't get over there? Okay. Jeez. Oh, it says I'm a. Oh, there's no NDA and I am allowed to stream and record footage? Well, that's too late. Is this free to play? Definitely not. A 10 hour Viva Pinata stream? 
Yeah, in your wildest dreams. I I did talk to Kevin about doing a, a Viva Pinata stream. I I think one of these days you're just gonna pop up on the channel and bam, it's gonna be Viva Pinata. Why is it taking me so long to get to 100,000 subs? Well, obviously people just don't like me that much. I mean, clearly. <laughs> I don't know. It always takes longer when you're close to something. I think the other thing is it's like I've kind of slid a bit too much maybe into an Xbox niche and there's just... I think maybe there's an X amount of, like, people that have Xbox, and it's just not, you know, if they're not getting those console sales out there, people aren't going to be checking out the content as much. That's why I need to pivot harder in other directions. If I think a game is good compared to Viva Pinata. Seriously, I'm not even kidding. One of these days, you just pop on for a stream, and it'll be like, bam, it'll be Viva Pinata. We'll, we'll be gardening. The question is, do you like Viva Pinata? <laughs> and you feel all ashamed. <laughs> yeah, that's that's Power Swap Ninja there. They did the Pina Colada song, but it's it's Viva Pinata. Their rendition of of Halo, Hey Ho, which is like you know making fun of or parroting the. Um, Chili Pepper Snow Song is, is one of my favorites. Man, these guys are like smoking the scene. I see that guy on the other side of this hay bale. Ah, god damn it! I was hoping I'd get there before he got me. Yeah, definitely not free to play. You gotta you gotta buy this one. Spider Man Two gameplay. I haven't watched the feed of it after the stream there. I have played Viva Pinata. Did you not see the Viva Pinata review? I did a review of uh, I did a review combo pack. It includes Viva Pinata One and Viva Pinata Trouble in Paradise. I did the videos, man. I did the time. Yeah, no, this is definitely not a free to play. How would they monetize this? This is like a hardcore shooter game. It's it's not you know you're not buying silly skins and stuff. Or can you in this? No, you can't buy silly skins, but. I wonder if you can buy gear in this or not. There is like a higher tier version of this in there with some like items or something. Anyways, yeah, no, not not free to play. It's it's an actual serious shooter and stuff. Yo, did that guy blow off our legs and stuff? Damn, that's nasty. Seeing the Viva Pinata stream. Filled with fun. Filled with fun. Viva Pinata. <laughs> I don't think most people know what Viva Pinata is anymore. Like, it, like, aired on TV and stuff when I was, you know, teens or something like that. And Yeah. I think he'd be blown away. Kevin and I would garden so intensely. Kevin was like, I'd have to like look up how to do everything because it's been so long. And I'm like, it would be hilarious. I don't think many people would like really be that intrigued by it, but it would it would still be fun to do. Be worth a good laugh. Nothing like uh, intense war where limbs and stuff are getting blown off and we're like sitting here talking about gardening and Viva Pinata. Would you guys rather see me garden in real life? We gotta make a YouTube short of me doing my gardening. Plants and the crops. Although I don't think I'm gonna do much gardening this year. I only got like one tomato plant and Yeah, it's, it's not really I'm not doing too much it seems. Yeah. I do have like a couple planters going, but not anything too exciting. Yeah, when I when I finally get my house bought, you know, if if, uh, if housing ever becomes affordable again, uh, yeah, we'll we'll do a live stream and I'll do all my gardening one day. It'll be hilarious. I'll be like, okay, I'm putting up the uh, 
putting in the carrots. I'm gonna grow the tomatoes. It'd, it'd be whole, just a funny stream. Just funny. Yeah. The first 360 arcade disc. I don't know. I, I actually have, like, I think the disc versions of, like, Viva Pinata too. I kind of liked what they did with Party Animals, but they never really continued that. If you guys don't know, Party Animals, I think it's on Game Pass, was basically like Mario Party for Xbox, but it was like, you know, the, the, the pinata animals. It's okay. It wasn't too amazing, but it was okay. If only I was like a super overly popular YouTuber and we could just do the most ridiculous live streams. We'd do Viva Pinata Party Animals, because it'd be funny. Said I got grinded out on Hell Let Loose. Ugh. Although I will say, with the new running speed and stuff, I am doing much, much better, actually. Much, much better at this. They're gonna look at how long Gollum is, and maybe we'll do like a full Gollum game stream. Maybe I'll punish myself for hours and hours on end just to experience the full scope of Gollum. You guys starting to think the other team's not very good? Because they are, like, not advancing at all. I think I got that guy, maybe. Is that an enemy tank? This is next-gen World War action. Sitting and waiting for something to happen. It was back in 1941. Me and Pac-Man the Raver were chilling out in the snow, wondering if we were going to make it another day. Death loomed across the snowy hill. Okay, I got shot in the face. If I can do a full stream of Gollum, you won't buy it. But then you won't get to experience Gollum yourself. Hell let loose? I was on a 7 kill streak earlier. I'm doing extremely well at this today. Still doesn't mean I enjoy those long spawn times. Oh my god, a piece of the coat got in my eyes. There's rum in there, guys. It burns. Ah. How did that happen? Ow. Jeez. I'm gonna have to go do like a crack and run tomorrow, I think. I'm almost out. I was planning on going to the mall before I you know picked up my sister from the airport today, but Nah, I didn't get up early enough, and I had other stuff to do when I did get up. Ugh, but yeah, I do need to maybe do a quick Costco run tomorrow and get to get myself a crack and refill. It's not like out, but you know, it's near the end. Huh, they killed Pac-Man! Did his eyes move? Why are your eyes moving? You're dead! That's the last they ever saw of Pac-Man the Reaver. Or Raver. Is he a Raver Pac-Man or a Reaver Pac-Man? You know, I was always intrigued in wanting to go to a raid. Or a raid. I've been to many raids, no, a rave, but like, I don't know who would want to go to a rave, and I also don't think I would like going to a rave at all. Yeah, that one gal I was really excited about, because she seemed into the raving scene, but I never ended up going on raves, and now I don't think I'll ever go to a rave. And I also, again, I don't think I ever want to go to a rave, because I really, really don't think I would fit in there. I would just stand there awkwardly, I'd be like, it's really loud, and I don't know why everyone's dressed all weirdly. And there's like glow sticks and weird face paint, and I don't get it. And everybody's on drugs. Will I get a hot dog tomorrow? I mean, probably. I do have a long ass list of hot dogs to get through. Seriously, I've got like... Where's my hot dog list? 
Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I got 14 hot dogs to get through. Pac-Man is pretending to die? Is that why he's rolling his eyes like that? Dollum looks boring. I mean, you know, maybe Gollum is a riveting adventure that's going to be the highlight of our lives. I mean, it can't be that much worse than Redfall, right? Right? So we're still holding the windmill. Should I, like, put down, like, a spawn point for our team or something? Like, the other team isn't really doing anything. They're just kind of sitting back getting shot. Oh! <gasps> They're in our spawn! Will I be covering Street Fighter VI? I don't know. I just, I reached out to get, like, the uh, request form, so hopefully I get it. Don't come to England for a rave? I, like I said, I, I don't think I'll be doing anything in England because of the whole Activision Blizzard thing. Seriously, I don't like the country now because of this. Yeah. I don't know, but I, I want to experience the full breadth of the, the Golem for myself in a long extended stream experience. I, I really do, I, like, I'm gonna look up how long it is and I'm like, maybe we could do it all in one long stream and just, like, embrace the Golem together. The other question is, is Golem hard? Can I, like, get it done easily? How long is Golem? Is it extraneous? What is Golem gonna be like? Will I get my precious by the end? Can't wait to see. Killed in action. More like killed than having to wait 40 plus seconds to play again. Whoa, did we lose our position? No way. How come I have to wait like 30 seconds if I spawn over there? That's weird, right? So we literally have no spawn point even like remotely close to our like our defending position? You gotta be kidding me, man. We're gonna have to walk? Hmm. Yeah. You own us? You don't own us. In English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously though, after the whole Activision Blizzard thing, I have like zero interest in like going to England now. I've actually marked it off of my like Europe European vacation desires. Think of all the money that the English have lost me today. You know. What have the what have the English ever done for Canada, honestly? They just take from us. They take our resources. They tried to control our land. They forced upon their us their silly democratic systems and governing forms of law. They gave us a queen and then took the queen away from us. Goddamn British. Goddamn British, man. They don't even let us, like, you know, have Call of Duty on Game Pass. What's wrong with them? I can see why the US rebelled against the British so early. Yeah, they sent a whole bunch of 60 second respawn. Oh my god. Oh, holy. You know, during the war, they, they forced Canada to go over there and we lost like tons and tons of people, like a huge percentage of our population. Honestly, what have the British done for us? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Yeah, I'm right soured. From the French? What are you talking about, man? From the French. We still have French in our country. You guys didn't do anything. It's just that it's like located in a small province now. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I used to really like the British people, but nowadays I, I don't know how to feel about it. The English. Ugh. You know, I, I never really understood why the Americans didn't like them, but now I. I, I get it. <laughs> uh, anyways, it's been a while. Be sure to like the stream. Unless you're from Britain. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Subscribing's great. <laughs> so nation's cool. Consider becoming a channel member. Cool perks, emotes, icons, all that great stuff. 
There's channel member gifting. The Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and great times. The Xbox Store affiliate link and the Amazon Store affiliate link too. Is there bad guys over there? Oh, he's still alive! I'm gonna put up my little post here. I could go charge that guy and get shot. Oh, I got him, guys! I did get shot, just like I said, too. I did it all. I'm a hero. Yeah. I mean, technically, it's not the government. It's the CMA, which is like a government-adjacent uh, organization. That guy's not dead? I, sh I shot him, dude. <sighs> By how quick Spider-Man traverses the city. England gave us Mr. Bean. We'd be all French? I don't know, maybe we would have been better off with the French. Who's to say? Who's to say? We'll never know because the English took that right away from us. <laughs> Okay, now where where is my outpost? There we go. I think that's my outpost right there. I gotta say, this is like a slow match. Like the other team is not they are not pushing hard, they're not pushing fast. Yeah. They gave us British Columbia. Those sons of a They took everything. <laughs> they couldn't even give us pictures of Spider Man. What are they doing out there? Hey look guys, it's Captain Crazy Tits. World War II had such creative naming conventions. I don't think I can kill anybody with those shots, but you know, it's kind of fun. Is that guy got a panzer shit? What are you shooting at with that, man? Can I look down the barrel? Hmm. The other funny thing is this campaign is like a British campaign that they added to this game, or like British maps, so that, that makes it extra fun. Yo, they actually took that position? I've been waiting like 20 minutes for them to make a move this game. That's hilarious. I wanted to lie down, not stand up on the rocks. Yeah. A very divided kingdom. That's what they claim whenever something bad happens. See, the British couldn't even get along with Europe, man. Replay Spider-Man? It's a good game to replay. Replay it on the PC, man. It's like all new because they don't have cross-saves for some reason. You know, it's 2023, but we can't afford cross-saves on PlayStation platforms, I guess. Yeah. Dude, the technology is too advanced. Uh, allegedly. You know, another question, how is there so much wheat if there's snow? It doesn't really make any sense. Like, the, the wheat gets harvested before the snow comes. Look at that next-gen wheat. It's so realistic. Oh my god, okay, so I started my rewatch of the, uh, the Xbox showcases. I started with 2005, and they were announcing the 360, and I'm like, man... The, the way they talk makes me so excited to, like, buy an Xbox 360. I was like, I need to get this console. It was so funny. They're like, the age of high-definition gaming is here. Our games are going to run at 720p, and there's going to be no jaggedy edges. 
the age of jaggedy edges is gone because we have anti-aliasing and i was like i've played hundreds of 360 games there is a lot of jaggedy lines <laughs> that I've, I've seen in my day so that definitely did not happen the other thing they were talking about is like tournaments and stuff. They're like, you could win money in tournaments. Sponsors can sponsor tournaments. And I was like, that never happened. There's a lot of funny things they talked about that just never happened. Same with like, what is it? Ghost Recon 3. I'm pretty sure that became Advanced Warfighter. I was like, oh my god. Like an obvious CGI trailer. Oh, <gasps> we lost the water mill? Oh god. I better start hauling ass back. I didn't realize that the situation was that dire. How did we lose the water mill? You know, we spent 20 minutes defending this post. I didn't think we'd lose the water mill that quickly. They must have caught us flat-footed. They must have caught us talking about the British. I hate when that happens. Maybe the British even confused us in war. Ugh, oh, I get shot in the face. The Peter Moore era. The funniest thing was like Don Matrick came up, and I didn't know Don Matrick was Canadian. That is hilarious. Apparently, he's like working in like British Columbia. I wonder if I get an interview with with Don Matrick. That would be so fun. Oh my god, that would be so cool. I don't know how you'd find out his info, but that would be delightfully charming. Um, yeah, it's it's like Don Matrick. He was at EA at the time. Which is funny, because it's, it's, like, it's really neat seeing, like, a young version of him, like, sitting up there being, like, because I think Xbox was saying, we got the biggest name, and, because in 2004, they announced that Xbox was doing their own sports games, and then a year later, they, like, canceled all of that, because they're, like, we got EA now, and it's, like, ooh. You know, they also had, like, Final Fantasy, they, uh, they had Square Enix, and Square Enix was, like, we're here to work with Xbox, and I'm, like, it sure doesn't seem like you were. At least you know nowadays back then they they did release a lot to be fair but yeah it was hilarious they're like we've got a big exclusive to game of the year of last year and it's they got the exclusivity on call of duty 2 i was like wow you know i never realized that call of duty was such an xbox franchise it like it always was from like the beginning essentially yeah we had call of duty 2 exclusivity and they're like and from the big, big franchise, you know, Morrowind, which was, you know, an Xbox exclusive, then they announced the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion, and I was like, oh, damn. It was a hell of a good, like, conference. And they spent, like, 30 minutes talking about, like, the specs and what, like, the 360 was gonna do. And I was still like, this sounds like an awesome console. Like, they, they talk with, like, passion about how good of a console it is, and how they're gonna compete and stuff, and they're like, you know, the 35-year-old male is still the backbone of our console, but, you know, now we want to invite new people to come play. And they're talking about, like, a woman as if she's, like, this individual that's going to, like, paint and sell skateboards and stuff on the virtual store. I was like, what the hell is this? Kind of funny. One of these days, we'll do a... Uh, I'll see if I can get, like, a feed from Xbox of, like, you know, in a higher resolution or something, and then do, like, a revisit co-stream of like these older xbox conferences because that would be a lot of fun they're hilarious like some of the stuff has just aged so poorly like one of them i think it's like peter moore gets like a tattoo or something of xbox I was like what is this but yeah we're doing the 2005 like i watched 2005 today i'll maybe you know if i get time i'll watch like 2006 and stuff you bought alan wake on release damn good game man Lots of people played Al or played Alan Wake. With Steam Steve Bomber? That guy is way too busy to ever be interested in interviewing what I'm doing. If I could forward in time to experience the best time of my life, would I or would I wait? <sighs> I think the fun of life is dealing with all of the emotional trauma and then having fun in the better moments when they do appear. Because you can't enjoy the best moments if you don't enjoy the worst moments. Honestly. Yeah. You, there's got to be balance in life. You can't always have, like, highs and stuff. Otherwise, everything just feels meaningless. Besides, the best years have probably already passed. It's all downhill from here. Okay, let's see. Where are we going? The river crossing. Okay, so where am I? I'm here in the middle. So they're gonna come from the water mill. We gotta defend the river crossing. 
We gotta do that for 25 minutes. A long time. Yeah, I'm just going for a nice nature walk out in the snow. I see you. And I want to kill you. Anyways, yeah, no, the 2005 conference, it was like, it was a pretty big pump up, and I'm like, man, I wish they still, like, had that sort of, like, fierceness to them, where they, like, you know, we've got the greatest thing, we've got the greatest console, we're gonna reach this many customers, this is how we're gonna do it, we got these great games. They just don't do that anymore. There's no, like, Xbox has, like, no teeth to them. It's really sad. You're in a different squad? <gasps> Yeah. Alan woke. <laughs> yeah, no, but anyway, Steve, Steve Bomber is way too, way too high up. Yeah. Not a part of Europe, the British left the Europeans. Anyways, yeah, I, I doubt I could ever get Bomber, but... I think I could maybe pull a Don Magic thing. I, I literally did not know he was Canadian. So, yeah, maybe he'd be nice and throw me a bone and be like, like, what kind of interview questions would you be as, like, you've had, like, a tremendous career in gaming, you know, what are your, what was different going from, like, EA to, like, Xbox and then going to Zynga and, yeah. I think he does, like, venture capitalist stuff now or something. I was looking, he's got, like, a LinkedIn. I was, like, looking at his LinkedIn today, I was like, this is interesting. You know, CEO, CEO uh, roles to now just doing, like, you know... I think he worked for, like, the British Columbian government, too, for a bit after his Ninga. I was like, what is it? They're still working there? I was like, what the heck? Very strange. Anyways, I just think it would be a fun interview. The guy did, like, really good competition stuff. Ah... <sighs> Zero is just, he's very self-conscious and he needs confidence in his, you know, who he's into, and it's, it's okay, you know, it's all right. Or you could time out Zarcaster. Those were the days. 360, yeah, the 360 was the good time. 360 was the good era. Ugh. We're losing all, we lost the river crossing too? This team is falling apart, guys. They're falling apart at the seams. Didn't think I believed in this team. Their ability to defend the Snowlands. And now it's all over. Yeah, I just, like, I don't get what Zero has to be so intense about. It's like, it's okay, Zero. Your generation loves to experiment and do weird things, you know? No one's gonna judge you here for doing weird stuff. Except for Lari. Lari will judge you. In like a weird way. Very, very weird way. Yeah. Anyways. So. We've got 20 something minutes. We just have the overpass left. Can we defend... Oh, we've got 28 minutes left to defend this overpass. Ha! Huh. Like that's gonna happen. Jeez. I think we're doomed. I legitimately think this is over, guys. The hopes and dreams of all the Covenant rested upon our shoulders. And we failed. I thought this was a good squad. I guess I was wrong. Oh, there's like a garrison right there? Okay, well that's not a good place for my outpost then. Alrighty. So go up on the hill. What's our positioning like? So I'm right here. Yeah, let's let's go up on the hill and put an outpost. That'd be a good spawn point for our team to have the high ground. See, it'll be one way. <sighs> the ultra VIP. I wish we had an ultra ultra great VIP. You know me. I I do love having lots of channel members, and you know money's pretty cool too. All right, so that's a good outpost. 
Somebody fix this truck. I want to build a garrison. You know, I haven't seen an enemy in like 10 minutes or something. There's definitely, you know, it's not a game where you like run into people all the time. I mean, look at how bored that guy is. He's just standing on top of a fence. Hmm. So I guess we just kind of wait now. We wait for the enemy to strike in the dead of snow. I wonder where they'll come. From the train? From the trees? You know, there's something like really oddly like out of place about a single train cart just kind of like sitting there. It's like kind of picturesque, isn't it? Do you hear birds? Why would there be birds in the snow? Birds usually don't go about in the snow. I've lived through a lot of winters. Not a lot of birds. Hmm. Gears 4 versus 5? I really like 4 and 5, actually, but 4 feels very, very classic Gears. 5 is very fast. Hmm. Now we wait for literally anything to happen. This is like really weird because they were really intense on the assault and now all of a sudden it's like quiet. Very, very quiet. Guess I shouldn't complain though, I haven't died in a while. I think he's dead, guys. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Kill confirmed. Please, climb over that fence before I die. Double kill. Ah, oh, no, I died. Look, guys, I killed some people. Halo 3 remake? I doubt we'll see that at any point. Hmm. Would I like to punch? I got team killed? Oh, wow. That is sad. Yes, I would like to punish my team killer. He ended my life and gave me like a 30 plus second respawn. Of course I want him to feel the punishment. The pain of a thousand lashes. A fire. First person Daisy. <laughs> Less running zombies and sounds and everything. Yeah. I keep like occasionally debating on doing like a Daisy live stream, but I'm like, it would be so goddamn boring. Like I did some Daisy videos not too long ago, and I'm like, man, I forgot how slow this game is. Oh, no, it was funny, I finally sat there and I designed the controller to get sent to me and my, like, the, the code they gave me said, like, the limit was already reached. And I was like, well, god damn it. I was, you know, I was, I finally, like, I sat there and I picked out all the colors and everything and I'm like, oh, this looks cool. And then I, you know, I wanted to get the new controller sent because I finally had a moment to do it. And I'm like, ugh. So now I have to wait for a new code if they send that. Rough. Oh, look, the bomb is a-dropping. Yeah, hopefully they get back to me soon, because I still got that page opened. I don't want to, like, close it and have to redo all my settings. Ugh, I hate redoing settings. But yeah, I, I do really need a new controller. This one is, like, it's it's getting so worn down. It's Call of Duty, guys. It, it hurts controllers. Emotionally. The mid-gen Xbox refresh? I sure hope so. I want those new views. And subscribers. Is this PvP? I like to think of it as like a nature walking sim and then occasionally you shoot some other people. So yes, it is PvP. 
yeah. No, I, I think 343 would be too scared to do a Halo 3 remaster or remake. They've already said it would be, like, diminishing returns on if they do it. They couldn't make it look that much better, which I'm sitting there being like, if they could make The Last of Us Part 1 look that much better and it's only been, like, five years, I'm pretty sure you could make Halo 3 look better. Maybe you guys are just incompetent at your jobs. But, um... Honestly, I, I think they'd be too scared to remake Halo 3 or remaster it. I don't think they'd want to ever touch that one because I just I don't think they're good enough to do it. I think there'd be too many people they'd frustrate, you know, considering the fan base already hates them how much. Yes, Xbox Series E, man. Will I ever stream? I've streamed DayZ before. I might stream it again at some point. I just I don't know. Where is Kevin? I don't know. I think he's playing Hello Loose. Yeah. Pretty sure he's playing it on PC. Let's uh, let's, let's see here on the Discord. Yeah, no, he's uh, it, it claims he's playing uh, Hello Loose on the PC there. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. For Marathon? Yeah, I was pretty excited about Marathon, but then I heard it was an extraction shooter, so I'm kind of like, eh. Anyways, it's been a while. Be sure to like the stream. Subscribing's great. Donations, cool. Consider becoming a channel member. Cool perks, emotes, icons, all that great stuff. The longer your channel member, the sexier your S symbol becomes. There's channel member gifting. The Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and great times. The Xbox store affiliate link and the Amazon store affiliate link as well. So many ways to enjoy the magic and content of the channel. In new ways. Woo yeah, I know, right? Riveting. Okay, it's way too snowy out for there to be this many birds. That's just not how that works. That's completely unrealistic. Are you see all these birds, or am I just going like crazy? Hmm. How did that guy get all the way over here and nobody shot him? That's so weird. What are they shooting at? I don't like I don't even see people. Oh wow, there's a lot of enemy infantry over there. Hmm. Guess I should go and try to find somebody to shoot. I suppose. Yeah. Like Dark Zone, what do I have against extraction shooters? Uh, nothing really. I mean, extraction shooters can be cool, but, like, that's not what Marathon is. It's not an extraction shooter, so to, like, take the name Marathon and shove it into something it's not is, to me, a big disservice to what that, like, game is. So, yeah. That's my issue with it. And also, it just kind of feels like it's going to be another, like, this is, like, the new Battle Royale thing, where it's just, like, all these games play the exact same, and it's just, like, ugh. It's like, this is the new Battle Royale, the new Horde mode, the, yeah. I don't know. I was just kind of hoping we get something from Bungie that's more, like, you know, story-driven, interesting, yeah, something. Oh, come on. <sighs> Apart from Tarkov, uh, Vigor would have a, like to have a word with you. That game is top-notch, man. It's got my face on a bag in it. Yeah, come on, man. Have some respect there. Yeah, remake Doom 2016 style was exactly what I was thinking they were going to do for it, but nope. Zarcaster, a diamond member? Sarcaster just as Onyx to me, it looks like. Live service? I don't think live service will die. Live service is uh, printing bills. But, uh, you know, not all of them make it is the biggest thing. 
Like, isn't Sony trying to make, like, half of their games coming out over the next however many years live service titles? So, I mean, they're, they're all chasing the cash, let's be real here, right? Single player is good, but, like, more and endless money is better. Yeah. And again, Jim Ryan being British. So weird. Literally didn't expect it. Waste of money, but did you at least get my face on a bag in it? It's not a waste of money. The game's great, man. Great. Generation Zero I have. I did, I did not like that game. <laughs> With the text logs and everything. The original Marathon's pretty cool, man. I don't know why you're hating. You know, they had, uh, what was it? Marathon Infinity or something like that? That's where he lives and it comes from. <laughs> uh, marathon. Hmm. Ahead of Marathon coming out, we should do a live stream and play the old, the old Marathon. <laughs> Use like the thumbnail art for the new one and be like, it's Marathon, guys. Uh, funny. Yeah, I'm no good with, with doing all the clickbait stuff, but that that would be hilarious. Be like play like, playing best marathon. Greatest marathon ever. Or we could call it marathon, I could go run like a marathon and live stream it. Do 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 do. Yeah, that guy he he always loves his nostalgic uh, games, doesn't he? But seriously, that's what marathon should have been. It's weird that they went in a different direction with it. Okay, so we got a garrison spot. How much longer? 15 minutes, okay. So we've held them here at this position for 15 minutes so far. So now we've only got a f another 15 minutes to go. Yeah. <gasps> they got rid of the garrison? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Wait, are we losing that position? Do I need to... Oh, I should have maybe spawned it. I just waited like ha like 30 seconds to respawn and I just got shot instantly. Dude! Yeah, it's well, it's abandoned where that IP, so I, I'm wondering if it was like Sony that like was like, you guys need to recapture this IP so we can own it, or like why? They should just call this something else. Viva Pinata Marathon in my dreams. Hello there. I wish my streams were so popular that we could do silly games like Viva Pinata and stuff, and it was, you know, a big thing, but. It's a fantasy world, but like I said, we, we probably will do a Viva Pinata stream for the lols. At, at some point, it'll just randomly appear. You'll be like, what is this? I'll be like, it's time to be filled with fun. Viva Pinata. Viva Pinata. I just want to say my outposts we've been spawning off of for like 15 minutes here, so it was, it was a good outpost. It's a very, very good outpost. Whoa, we're not gonna kick Pac-Man the Raver. Pac-Man the Raver was my friend. Nah, I just got shot in the face. Pac-Man remains. Yes, I like Pac-Man. <sighs> marathon mo on a marathon? Wow, that is gaming at its finest. I hope to aspire to have the stamina to be able to play a game and do fitness. A lot of work, you know, because you gotta like concentrate on what you're doing and concentrate on what you're doing. It's like double the effort. It's double the work. Kevin invited me to a party? Wow, I wonder what this guy wants. Who is this Kane 2 2 of the 2 2? One, one sec here, guys. I gotta put it in a headphone. Very slowly. <laughs> Viva Pinata Battle Royale. That's what we've been waiting for. Hello? Okay, he invited me to a party, guys, and he's not even here. Oh, oh, hi. Are you joining? Okay, I'll, I'll feed you in. Make sure the party's invite only. You know how it goes. Alright guys, here's Kevin. Kevin oh god, is here. hey, oh, wow. Yeah, I know, right? I was just telling them that we're gonna do a Viva Pinata live stream. Yeah, I'm good. It, uh, honestly. Yeah. That's what I've been in it for. I've been playing the long game with this guy playing for two years just to do Viva Pinata with a <laughs> Gardening, it's the dream. 
Huge. No, I don't know. <laughs> Filled with fun, Kevin. Filled with fun. Always. Uh, I told him it's it's gonna be hilarious. It's just gonna be randomly one night, and it's just gonna be like, we're just gonna guard. So I don't know how this works for like co-op, but we've got like twelve minutes left, and we're defending this overpass. I don't seem to be able to join you again. And we've been defending this overpass for nineteen minutes. Oh my fucking god! Jeez. Anyways, tell them about all the excitement you have for this big new update. Uh, update's really interesting. I like it. I wish they added a little more for uh, British uniforms, like just for the desert one, like the shorts would have been neat. You know, that classic like desert rat look. Uh, I, I think it's cool so far. I like it. Um, the desert map, I don't know. It, it's, it's really it's like open. Garbage. Yeah, a lot of complaints about that. Well, actually, <laughs> a lot of complaints about the speed. I've actually, I've never seen people complain of this much about how let loose. Like, it, obviously, the debate, people saying that they like uh, the speed increase and in that, but that's, like, the number one complaint I'm seeing is people saying that and how you move too fast. Because that, what was it, they increased better. it by, like, 15%? Yeah, no, it feels way better to play. I'm actually, like, killing people. That's funny. Yeah, I'm going on like killing sprees. Yeah, I don't mind it, but yeah, that's that's the number one complaint from everyone right now. So I don't know if they'll turn it back down or not, or maybe it's just you know the classic vocal minority thing. I don't know. Is that all the guys that are commanding in the game being like, it's too fast? Uh, all over Twitter and uh, the reviews on Steam's, it actually got a little bit of a review bomb. On Steam lately, of people complaining about the speed and the update. Oh, that's uh, hilarious! You know, their concern of it moving away from its uh, millisim style. Oh. Trying to go a little more arcadey because it's getting a little bit of a name for itself. Those winders. Yeah. Embrace overly big popularity. Last I saw, uh, I checked uh, when the update came out or whatever. It, it had like fifteen thousand people on Steam. Mm. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. So maybe it is helping. I don't know. I, yeah, I do I, find that I I'm doing better. You, so you do you like the update so far? Yeah. Except for that one map runs just I don't know if it's I think it's like a performance issue or something, or it's like laggy, but yeah, that one map runs like garbage. Did you get the other one yet with the Brits? The bridge? Uh, for like two seconds, but the lobby was empty, so I just left. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a little sad, yeah, I was hoping they would add a server browser. Yeah, that was the biggest thing yeah. immediately. I was Console. like, god damn, man. I thought they said yeah. they were adding it. I, I thought they were adding it a while ago. Where is it? It's probably the number one thing I want in this. And apparently faster speed, and I didn't even know that. Like, look at me go. I'm hauling ass. Let's see. Ah, what is everybody talking about? YouTubers making a lot of cash? Where do I make a lot of cash? I want to make a lot of cash. Oh, Stu, you become a cookie crumbler once again? Thanks for joining up on the channel membership once more. My call center headset? You mean my original Xbox One headset? Like, I couldn't get Bolt Gun. I've been trying to get Bolt Gun, but like, I cannot find a goddamn contact for that game. Yeah. It's weird. Seriously, I cannot find, like, I know it's Focus Home, but it's like none of the people that usually cover Focus Home are covering Bolt Gun. Ugh. That's annoying. I always love all the Kevin jokes. They kill me. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, we're we're doing great on this like this last position here, or we have been because we you know it was the thirty minute mark we started defending it, and now there's seven and a half minutes left. You should be able to join. There's there's two slots. There is two. I'm just wondering. Yeah, it's not letting me. Yeah. I've never noticed that before. Hmm. Weird. 
I've heard that my nipples are the best nipples, but you know, who's to say? The Sky fans haven't come out yet, so this is not, you know, it's... Actually, I don't, I don't think there's any shirtless pictures of me out there. I mean, there are shirtless pictures, but, you know, not out there for you guys to enjoy. Yeah. Besides, I don't I don't give that stuff out for free. Kevin, you know what I mean? You, you don't sell your body for nothing. No, yeah, there's got to be a price on it. Yeah, there's know? always got to be a price. No matter how cheap it is. Every right? inch of skin has a value. Uh... Oh, those are my teammates? That's weird. I wasn't showing their name. Hmm. What's the price for you to do OnlyFans? Well, we were supposed to... It was supposed to be 100,000 subscribers before the end of last year, but we, we missed it, so... Okay. Yeah. The time for that has passed. I blame the community. Oh, if they were better, right? Exactly. We could have had our Spider-Man commentary streams if, you know, or commentary chats if the community had uh, jumped in more. Tisk tisk, what can you say? Yeah. You're looking after your goddaughter all week. Good for you, Stu. Way to step up. Hmm. I mean, it's good that you guys were working. Working jobs is important. That's how you make money, so that you can do cool stuff. Oh my god. So is the flamethrower in that new, or is that like a previous update? Uh, that's a previous update, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, I still haven't gotten killed by a flamethrower for five gamer score. Oh, fire starter, yeah. Yeah. I love how you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I did get the achievement for winning 25. We lost? We were so close. What do you mean we lost? Ah, oh, dude, that's such a bummer. We defended for so I didn't think we were losing. <sighs> Alright, how, how does the squad crap work in this? Do I just invite you? Oh, I can join. Oh, yeah. Um, I think you find a match, and if you can get a good match, unless all the lobbies. Oh, that's what we usually do, right? Is we do yeah. search and stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Thanks for the donation there, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Fifty-six players. Uh, Twenty-nine minutes left. What's the situation on the map layout? I don't know. I think we could do better than this. I think we could do better than that match. Sometimes the chat is so odd. When you can get them all on there, it's a riot. Okay, what are we looking for? Elapsed times. Although I will say in general, YouTube's just been like abysmal for like views and stuff this week. Ugh. That's how it goes though. Is Hell Let Loose pay to win? I wish it were. I wish it were. Not even a little bit, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Now we wait. Dryle. Oh, it's the new map, Kevin. And there is only 22 players in this lobby. Okay, well, that's not good. Did you get a big map? Uh, not <laughs> I wasn't even looking. No, I am. I thought we were both supposed to look to find the best ideal lobby. No, you are 100% right. I was just looking through what cosmetics they have. Kevin sitting here looking at the pay to win elements. The Last of Us Part 2? It's a pretty good game. That's perfect. Mostly like the ending that I just complained about on that one. Now I join. Saint Marie Diamant. What a classic Call of Duty 3 map. Do they steal that in this game? I think they did. It's only like 60 players. I, I do that. It's filling up fast. Yeah. 
I just think it's funny. This is probably the closest I'll ever get to another Call of Duty 2. Because they have all the maps, just about. They have the Soviets, they have the Americans going through D-Day, and now they have the British North Africa. But what about Enlisted? Ah, uh, it's it's cute. If this game never existed, I would play Enlisted more. You know, Nelson's cute, guys. Liking the Liked stream. The stream. <laughs> oh, man. Right. Yeah, subscribing's great, donations cool, consider becoming a channel member, cool perks, emotes, icons, all that great stuff. Channel member gifting, the Patreon option, the Discord, for stream alerts, chatter, and great times. The Xbox Store Fleet Link. And the Amazon Store Fleet Link, too. Ah. <gasps> yeah. Zero is in this game, too. Did you know that Zero, every time he joins the streams now, has to remind us that he likes women? Good. Good for Zero. Yeah. You know, standing up for... I don't know. I got nothing. I was, just... I was like, you know, you are part of that gen where you can go and do whatever you want. No one judges right. you. Right. Like, it's a more open world now, too. You don't have to be that way. No. Seriously, if you want to try something else, go nuts, man. Uh, yeah. Literally, no one cares. Except for him. Which makes it sus. Yeah. You didn't finish. Well, that's because The Last of Us Part 2 takes like 9 billion hours to play. I remember like reviewing that ahead of launch, and it's like they gave it to you like a month and a bit ahead, so I actually got to finish it, but man, that was like, I think it was like 20 something hours to finish that game. That was a long game, dude. Very long. I can't believe we lost that last match. I'm so pissed about that. We defended that spot for like 20 something minutes. We lost in like the last few. <sighs> I'm just gonna throw out I don't get the complaints over the speed. I don't mind the speed. It doesn't lose its millisim element. You know, there's still squad work, it's still one shot kills. Actually, if anything, it kind of helps you a little more because you can avoid getting one shot. You know, I, I, I don't mind the speed increase at all. I just think it's nice to get places in a timely manner. Too much walking in this game as it is. There's still too much walking. Really? Oh, I mean... That's the difference between this and COD, right? No, it's... Every game should play like COD. <laughs> Every game, yeah. Yeah. You know, there's a reason cause the number one seller. This isn't. <laughs> Did you notice the dolphin diving they added too? Did That's they? Got it in a lot of complaints. Yeah, going full speed. Nah, drop. No way. Yeah. Huh. Why did they add that? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try this. So you just like run and then you like hold B yeah, or you B tap full B sprint and then hold B. Yeah, and you'll dolphin dive. That's a revolutionary new mechanic, guys. Select my role? What do you mean, select my role? What? Not squad lead anymore? Uh, just switch? No, you can still be an uh, officer. I don't know why that happened. I didn't press anything. Strange. Where's the outpost? I didn't outpost. Uh, we have an outpost just before our position. Could you call oh, uh, oh, gone. a supply truck for me? No. Tell them that I got a tank mark on my ping. I'm bugging you, but sorry. <laughs> sorry. I don't know what that means. Uh, uh, Does it dolphin dive? My guy just kind of lied down. Yeah, when you're in full sprint. Like, it's, I don't know, it's what they're calling the dolphin dive. Doesn't feel you like you sprint dive. forward, or you like lie forward. You're not, it's not the full aiming down sights while diving, but there's like you know, dolphin diving is like a momentum game. It's just you're just lying down fast, which somebody would be doing if they were getting shot. Yeah. <laughs> Realistically, no. Hello there. Halo is usually my thing, but not infinite. But not infinite. Hmm. Huh. Hell, it lose better than Battlefield 2042? It's got way more players, I know. <sighs> that. 
Better is a subjective term. <laughs> uh, uh, do you still actually like 2042 better? Uh, I don't know. They're different games. I don't know. I really don't know, actually. All I do know is I kind of want to go to the bathroom, so if I get a 30 second respawn, I'm going to go do that. <laughs> I have no clue why console players refuse to put up garrisons, though. That will always be a mystery. It never lets me. It's always like, garrison too close, not enough nearby. resources, not enough. You gotta be 200 meters away. Alright, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. You can take this over here. Sounds good. How's everybody doing? Hope you're enjoying the show. As you know, I've been here for the whole stream. I don't know. Or actually, better yet, leave in the comments what suggestive photos you think Sky Captain should take of himself. And I'll try convince him to do the top one suggested. spawn points. Hello, Bateman. Starcaster, it is my show now. Ha ha. No, I'm sure you are, Zero. I believe you. You don't think they'll prepare me, Phil? I, I, I've basically been told in squad from the veterans I played with that I've basically gone through what they've gone through. You know, like our experiences are the same. That's a Tom Shigura joke I stole. So, yeah. No, but. <laughs> Seems like Kevin's really entertaining the people. Yeah. It's Kevin's show now. That was funny. I oh. was just joking. I told them to uh, leave uh, what their favorite suggestive pick of you would be, and I'll try to convince you to do it. My their favorite suggestive pick of me? Yeah. Like, That's yeah, a great what one. They want to see. Yeah. Yeah, fully nude, but with a controller covering the goods. That's so funny. What about the suggestive Xbox onesie outfits with the zipper down a little bit? <laughs> uh, I was watching the, uh, or rewatching the 2005 Xbox conference, and someday, yeah. if the channel becomes very popular, we'll try to talk to Xbox to get high feeds, and we'll do like a co-stream chat over it. You would have loved that conference, man. So they like. Why? Uh, Call of Duty 2 is exclusive to Xbox. Ooh. Yeah. That would have been really cool. Yeah, and then they're like, and the hugely popular original Xbox title, here's the sequel. The Elder Scrolls 4. Oblivion. No way. <laughs> Wait, so you tell me Call of Duty 2 and Oblivion were at the same conference? Yeah, and they were both exclusive to Xbox. Um, yeah, that actually might have been my favorite ever. <laughs> Hands down. Uh, yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow I, didn't, I didn't know Becky was Sorry, so excited about that. that. <laughs> <laughs> big, big Call of Duty 2 fan over there. Uh, she's playing uh, Black Flag, and she's having a couple issues. Sucks to suck. But she's actually really good at the game, though. Well, of course, she she always plays her creeds. Yeah, I I just thought that oh, was yeah, so man. funny timing wise. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm trying to think of what else was like announced there, but I was like, oh man, you you would have loved that. The Call of Duty Two it also makes you think like long term. You know, Bethesda kind of close with Xbox, Activision kind of close with Xbox. Yeah. Wild times. I don't know, it's just kind of entertaining. And they spend a lot of time talking about like the specs of the console. A lot of time. Oh my god. 
Yeah, this game's a death fest. I'm not surprised that Kevin would say such a thing. A Skyrim what? 100,000 subs. That's still not enough. I'm talking about when the channel's really large, then people will really care if we do a co-stream of that kind of thing. I need more! Actually, I just really need 100k so I get a stupid plaque and then I can just, like, chillax and not care at all. I think you'll just, like, feel total peace and then fade away. I don't know. I don't know uh, what I'll feel. I'll just probably be like, okay, now what do I work towards? Alright. I'll have to be like, now it's time to make real money. I think. I don't know, what else do you even work towards? You get, like, a plaque thing you put on a shelf and then you chill? <sighs> okay, so... How is... Our team's not doing too good, eh? Uh, no, not at the moment. But they have, like, absolutely no spawn points. Yeah. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I just kind of spawn, take a few steps, and then keep getting shot. So I'm gonna try to get us some outposts going on, but you know. Yeah. I'm thinking I switch to support roll, and then if you want, we can push the line on like the left of the map and try to get a like try a bit of a flanking garrison going. Mm. You know what I learned today is you could revive people in this game. Ah. Yeah. I ain't never seen that before. <laughs> Not a lot of people play medic. That's the one thing I do like uh, that squad has on this is that like anyone can revive you. Only the medic can heal you to full health, but that anyone can pick you up with advantage. I feel like it makes I don't know a little more like team play in that aspect. Yeah, because I I was reading the achievement. It's like revive three people, and I was like, I have never seen that in this game. I was like, how do you do that? I've never seen anyone revive me. I've never seen anyone revive anyone else. I've never seen that. Just gotta get that one friend who just likes playing medic for some reason. I got two guys in uh, uh, the group I play with, and they both love medic. It's so helpful. Mm. It's interesting. Yeah. Okay, this route's okay. I mean, it is an interesting thing, right? You get, like, a plaque, and you just kind of, like, set it somewhere, and you're like, cool, and then it, like, appears in all your videos, because you got to show off that you have it, but, like... Sky, right by you, you could place a garrison there, if you want to head a little north of that trench and try to set one down. Yeah, i got to wait, like, 50 seconds, because I put one down a little further back. So, yeah. I'll get on that, though. I believe in you, dude. Because it's like, you know, you get the one plaque, and then it's like, you got a hundred thousand subs. But then it's like, the next one you don't get till you have a million subs. So it's like, you know, it's not really realistically something to work towards. So you've just kind of got, like, you know, a silver plaque, which is cool. But it's like, what do you... That was interesting. What was it? Oh, I heard somebody screaming. 4 a.m. streams? A lot of these are 4 a.m. Have I tried streams in the afternoon? I've done streams in the afternoon occasionally. I don't notice any sort of benefit in doing that. Oh! Um, sorry, just a suggestion. The supplies are by you. Like, the 50 seconds is for your outpost. But if you go up to, like, that supplies, just a little bit north of you, that's where you can place the garrison that the entire team can spawn on. Or at least so you don't want an outpost here? You you want an outpost, but when you're done uh, on that ping I'm giving there, uh, if you could go just a little bit above, like there, because you want it, um, I think it's 50 meters or 100 meters, if it's in the offensive zone, they can ping the garrison hot, so people can't spawn on it, so you want it a little farther away. Oh, so you want me to go pick up these supplies and build the garrison? Yeah, you see that, yeah. And then just go a little more north of that, somewhere safe, like uh, a couple more meters out, and then try place it. Maybe it'll be too close, hopefully not. And then we can get another uh, offensive. Unless that collect? other garrison's 200 meters with you. Um, It's just on the ground, so just switching to uh, building a garrison will allow you to place it. 
You might actually have to go south, though, if that other garrison's within 200 meters. No, nah, there's already a garrison here. It's telling you it's too close? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought I had to pick these supplies up. No. Oh. Well, that's sad. Actually, they're... Let's see. Hmm. Seems like they're destroying our garrison to the north. Uh, I can build a garrison here. I will do that. You can? Okay. Yeah, yeah perfect. We go. We've got a garrison. And then maybe that gets being caught. Yeah, it did. All right. It's worth a try. It's a good spawn point Actually, so we can take this position, guys. Yeah. So that's what Kevin brings to the table. Tactics. Excitement. Afternoon streams, no Aussies. The benefit is you'll have a proper sleep time. Well, it's like, usually I like to do stuff during the day, so... Yeah. And it's so much more peaceful and quiet, and I don't have to deal with any... It's actually nice, too, because then I can, like, you know, sleep at the end of it. It's just, like, the streams are when the streams are, and, yeah, I haven't noticed any benefit to streaming during the day or anything. At least not thus far. Yeah, I, I haven't noticed a benefit. I'm very excited about Gollum. Like I said, we're, we're going to stream Gollum tomorrow. I saw that getting advertised. Like, I don't know. It looks so weird. <laughs> it looks so weird. You know, it's, it's, I think it's like the lowest scoring game of the year. Is it really? Yeah. So, you know my PC, and it's like a really expensive PC? Yeah. Yeah, it, it can only run Gollum at like 40 FPS. What were they thinking, though? Like, the wide-range world of the Middle Earth, you know, and you chose Gollum? Yeah, I don't know, man. Apparently it's pretty terrible, That's but I'm so looking forward to it. weird. Don't care talk about Gollum. Gollum! If we got it early, I should have sent it to you to review. That would have been funny. Kevin, we need you to sit there and work through Gollum. <laughs> I am looking forward to, uh, to streaming, though. I think tomorrow will be Gollum. You know what I think would have been a funner idea? If it was, like, you following Frodo and Sam, and every time you, you make, like, these elaborate schemes throughout the game to try steal the ring, and they never work. But then how would you really get to know Gollum? Because you, you talk to yourself all the time. Nah, that wouldn't work. You literally learn Gollum and Smeagol and the complexity they have in their relationship. Nah, I'd rather sit you know? there and, and then make, you could like, get like dialogue options. options. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but that could be the chat options with yourself that you choose the dialogue for both. You you choose a dialogue option as Smeagol and then you choose a dialogue option as Gollum, and you try see if you <laughs> you can earn your favor. You know, and you'll give yourself, like, points to whether you answer properly to yourself. The game kind of has that in it. Yeah? But it's bad. <laughs> That's funny. I, I've, heard, I've heard it's just, like, it's... I don't know, I, I can't wait to experience it for myself, but I've heard it's quite something. I want to live in that world, though, where Golub could have been Game of the Year. What if you had a game like that, where it was like a mirrored thing, where like you're doing stuff the whole time, and as you're doing it, there's this other character who like, keeps opening the door for you, and you keep talking to them and stuff like that, and it, it kind of like advances along, I'm almost picturing like a heist-like thing, and then ha you finish the heist, and then you do like a second half to the story, and then you realize that, like, it's your... Uh, you go through doing other stuff and just kind of, like, leave it a mystery, but that you kind of figure out halfway through that what you're doing is what helped you in the first part, but it's it's you doing it in, like, a weird, like, split personality way that you never let me... I don't know if I'm explaining right. Either way. This is know. a lot you're talking <laughs> about, and I'm having a very hard time following. Something about setting up your own heist okay, thing, but then you realize your own heist later on when you're doing a heist. I'm just trying to think of, like, a funny game or something where, like, your, your character has a split personality. I, I don't know why. That's really humoring me right now. It's Gollum. 
Oh, I, I get what you're yeah, trying to talk about. You're, you're sorry, trying to yeah. say, like, your character set, sets it up, but you don't realize your character fucking goddamn it this game, and it's like, you die, wait 50 seconds, and you die, wait 50 seconds. The medium. Yeah, kind of like the medium, actually. That one, not oh, split personality, like but it's like split, like, realms, like... There's like an other world that's going on at the same time as your world. They were talking about that as being a big technology thing, and then we haven't seen any game do anything like that since, which is kind of funny. Hmm. Yeah. The reason you can't do memberships on iOS is because Apple is selfish and takes all the money, and Google doesn't like that. The thing that Google really likes is that when you like the stream, what? Oh, Subscribing is great donations, cool. Consider becoming the channel member you've wanted to be. There's channel member gifting, the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, great times, the Xbox store for link, and the Amazon store for link too. Ha ha. It's funny. Hmm. I'm trying to think what else they announced in that Xbox showcase today. It was really good though. It really made me want to buy a 360. I was like, this console sounds great. <laughs> yeah, they're like. <laughs> we're, we're here to compete and we want we got the best games in the industry and I was like oh damn like I mean that actually was like a really like it's weird because they spend like half an hour talking about like the specs of the 360 because this is like the first time they ever showed it off but they're like we've got EA making sports titles now for Xbox we've got Square Enix bringing Final Fantasy to Xbox we got Call of Duty 2 exclusively for Xbox. The Elder Scrolls 4 exclusively for Xbox. We've got uh, Lost Odyssey they showed. They showed a montage of original Xbox games. They announced backwards compatibility for the 360. For Xbox what One year games. was that? Like 2005 or 2005. something? 2005. What else did they show? Uh, cameo. Uh, I think they teased 99 Nights, and, you know, it's... Yeah, that they had... was an awesome game. I'm so glad you knew that one when I was talking about it the one time. It, that is actually so funny. I keep trying to get my hands on that one. Oh my god, there's bits of people here. But every time I go to get it, it just, like, kind of falls through. It's one of those ones where it's, like, if I'm buying a lot of old games and they happen to have 99 Nights, I'll be like, yeah, I'll take that too, but it just hasn't been realized yet. One of these days. Yeah, they had some kind of like football dude come up and he like he brought all these games that like EA was gonna launch. He had, like the Godfather and like, you know, the sports titles and stuff. I wonder who they got. I just think it'd be funny if it was Tyler Murray. I don't know, I, th I think it was somebody who was playing for the Raiders or something at the time. I had no idea. Who oh, it was. you're talking for the two thousand five one? Yeah. I definitely wouldn't have Kyler Murray then. Alright. <laughs> 2005 Xbox footballer. Now that gives you a FIFA. Xbox conference. I don't know, I'm very excited. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have some time and I'll watch the... 2016 event. 360 was awesome. It was it such was. a, like... I don't know, gear time in gaming. Oh! You know, there wasn't a lot of hate going for gaming. Gears? At that point. I don't know. Gears, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah they show Gears. Yeah, there's like no Wikipedia thing about like who was at this event, but it's just like it was some Raiders dude and he just like came out and was like, this guy. And the, the guy's like, if you win the Super Bowl, I'll have a 360 at your house day one. And it's like so kind of cringy, but it was funny. Yeah. Yeah, Gears of War was there. The 2005 showcase was bad? What are you talking about? Or are you guys talking about the PlayStation showcase? Can I put the outpost near you? No, zero. Piss off. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh. The Fortnite 84 video? No, I did not see that. What is that? Hmm. What you guys are talking about. <sighs> and I got blown up by artillery. Yeah, no, that PlayStation showcase was pretty bad. It's it's gonna be very hard for Xbox to put out a worse showcase. But you know, Xbox, they love to disappoint, so 
If there's anyone that can do it, it's it's Xbox. I believe in them. Ah, but that, that showcase was just a banger. And yeah, 2006 would be fun. Oh, and uh, Ghost Recon 3, which I believe became Warfighter. Because like in Warfighter, you're going for the president, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that's what that was. Blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else they showed. But I, I think that was about it. It was a fun conference. But we love Doom and Gloom. Doom and Gloom is the backbone of this industry. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure I'll just respawn again after 40, 50 seconds. Uh... Best of E3 2005. Hmm. Uh, I'm redeploying. Let's use the garrison. 40 seconds? Ugh. Ugh. Don't tempt them. I love tempting fate. Oh, what is that from? That, uh... What is that one title? Is it uh, that fighting game? Blaze Blue? You can't stop crossing fate or something like that. Fight! I like what they do in that opening one for that game. Alright. So we've got 45 minutes of combat left, guys. That's more than enough time. Gotta take out the AA network. Anyways, it was Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter where you're, you're going to try to save the president, right? I know. Which one? What? Advanced Warfighter. I, I honestly never played that one. The Ghost campaign, Recon. At least. Oh, ad oh, sorry. I thought you were talking advanced. Um... At one of the Call of Duty's. Yeah, Advanced Warfighter, that's where you're in Mexico, trying to save the president. Okay, because they announced really it good game. Yeah. as Ghost Recon 3, but I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter, so I think they renamed it. Because you're like, yeah, you're going to go oh, save the president. Uber stuff. Cool. You could, like, control certain vehicles at points and, like, tell them, like, I remember there was the one base you're attacking and you're giving the attack helicopter commands. Actually, really funny in that game when they uh, kill the prime minister. They were like, "Yeah, we got the U.S. president out. You need to get the Mexican uh, president out." But Canadian prime minister's dead, and I was like, "Oh yeah, because we're the most expendable, right?" No tears. Great game. Shed that day. No. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no American tears. That's funny. Huh. Are consoles too complicated? Uh, I think game development is complicated, and I think it's hard to get stuff performant these days. So we're taking the AA network? Is that what we're after here? The anti-air network. Oh, yes. Hmm. So I'm on the AA network, but it doesn't look like we're actually capturing this. Is that because we're losing Lou Rob de Grace? That's actually not good at all, yeah. Defense on defense, no garrisons, we're gonna lose the cap race. Oh, it's you can't stop from crossing fate. Fight! That's what they do in Blaze Blue. Yeah, I got it, guys. I got it. This feels pretty intense. You know, they do their little chat thing and they go battle on that, yeah. Anyways, that was, that was a highlight for me for that game. You like that little title. It's also called Sunran Kagura. Hmm. Kevin, are you familiar with the Sunran Kagura franchise? I have no clue what that is now. Let me enlighten you. So, Sunran Kagura. Yeah, all, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, imagine a group of women and they're at like a samurai ninja sort of school. Yeah? Okay. Alright, yeah, I'm following. 
they have really complex narrative experiences in how they interact with each other. And okay. they wear really suggestive revealing outfits. It sounds like all the makings of a great game to me. Alright. It's a game of culture. And they do, yeah. like, you know Sailor Moon when they transform? Yeah. Okay, they do that, but they transform into more suggestive outfits. Oh, wow. So what, is that like a power-up halfway through a fight or something you do? Kinda, yeah. Okay. So that's what it is, is it's mostly these, like... I guess, like, narrative and fighting type sort of... Well, it's not like a fighting game, it's not like fight-fight, but it's like... Uh, I don't know, it's like an action kind of thing. But they did make this game called Peach Beach Splash. And I think I've mentioned this before. I don't know to you, but... Anyways, in Peach Beach Splash, it's like Gears of War, where it's like a shooter, but you shoot so so super soakers, and you execute right. the other women by using a rubber ducky to spray their clothes off. Is that Japanese, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it actually is? Of course. Alright, there you go. And sadly, it's not on Xbox. Did we lose all our positions? Dude. Yeah, no one no one did anything. We were like taking the sense. AA and our team just like fell apart. Wow. Yeah. So anyways, it's it's a neat series, Senran Kagura. And uh, the jiggle physics and stuff are very, very impressive, and it's, it's a lot going on in that game. Um, I had a buddy who was playing through the Resident Evil series, and he hadn't done Resident Evil 5 yet. And I was like, oh god, I just played that one, and it's actually like one of my favorites for the multiplayer. I just did it on Xbox, and dude pointed out that, like, oh, well, you know, like, you should get it on PC. And I was like, sure. And the entire time we were playing, I was like, watch the... Oh, I can't remember, but, like, Wesker's right hand uh guy there the female i was like check out the jiggle physics on her because it's like kind of ridiculous like the slightest movement and it's, it's like, like four or five around. wriggles you know yeah like yeah how much does hella loose cost i think half the price of a full game No, oh, that didn't go well. I think, do we find a new lobby? I'm pretty sure, yeah, a new lobby is needed. Yeah, we'll, we'll back out, both of us, and try to find one that's better. Hmm. I mean, if you are grabbing this, use the affiliate link. Maybe the stream will do so bad that they'll never have to play Hell Let Loose again. That would be interesting. <laughs> Then you'd be getting rid of the greatest shooter on Xbox from your list. Right? Tower of Fantasy's not coming to Xbox? I thought that was a Genshin Impact update. I was like, I was really confused when they were like, it's a different game. I was like, are they sure? It looks like Genshin Impact. Oh yeah, I got a good one. You got a good one? Okay. Yeah. And I'm in the King Squad too? Aw, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, like, I got What did you think of the... The British guns. Did you get to try them yet? I just used like a Sten or whatever. It was pretty cool. Yeah, okay. Hmm. We do build houses when we play Minecraft. We also do die in wars, but the virtual ones now. Much more exciting. Alright, so we've got to defend the South Railway, I think. Yeah, that we have absolutely no garrisons on. Why is this a trend? I... It's like, you know, when you join, we get like the worst lobbies. God, Kevin. I thought you were great at this. Teardown? I mean, that one looked so-so. There's an evil revelations on the 3DS with the 3D effect for Max Jiggle Physics. Yeah, okay. Alright. I can't remember what we were streaming not too long ago, and there was like insane just jiggle physics in it. I was like, wow. 
That was, that was crazy. Hmm. I love the games that just like embrace it. They're just like, it's here, deal with it. Do you remember this game? Um, this I'm, game? I probably will. I can't forget uh, it. No, there's this one game where it's like all these gals. And it's like a wrestling game, and they're Rumble all made roses? up. And... Rumble Roses? Rumble Roses? <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous, dude. You do right away, yeah. And you can do like the photo yeah. shoots with them, and yeah. Yeah. What a good day. I did a video on that on the Series X not too long ago. That's why I know that one. That was only a few months ago. Yeah, we did Rumble Roses. I went, oh, they also showed Dead or Life 4, speaking of jiggle physics, at the 2005 showcase. See, this would be such a fun oh, really? stream to co-stream over and be talking over these old things. I was like, oh my god, I know this game. And I was like, I know that one. But yeah, Dead or Alive 4 was like a pretty big deal because it was so like technically like, whoa. It's a big Xbox title. Yeah. That peach peach game looks interesting. I think it's delisted from what I understand. Yeah. Like I said, you literally like you ex it's like Gears of War but with Super Soaker. <laughs> and then the idea of it is like you go and you execute the weapon by shooting them with the rubber ducky in different spots and their clothes shoot off. <laughs> it's like, what is this? <laughs> it's like you ever play something and you're like kind of embarrassed if anyone was to like see you play this yes i'd actually say rumble roses would be one of them. <laughs> rumble, Rose. rumble roses is crazy because you're like throwing or slamming girls into like concrete and stuff i'm like it's a savage yeah but like imagine your parents walk in while you're doing one of the photo shoots be like this is art okay it's a game it's a game god i swear it real does. men get paid to do this uh... Yeah, whenever I would review a Senran Kagura game back in the day, I'd just be like, this is, like, all but shameful to, like, have this on the screen. Yeah. Talk about games? We're talking about games. Games of culture. Senran Kagura! I mean, what else is there to talk about in life? It's so boring. We're in this, like, weird gap time where there's nothing exciting happening. The PlayStation Showcase was a complete joke, and we're just kind of waiting for Diablo to come out. I mean, the highlight of this week is Gala. That should be telling you something. Can anyone name anything else more exciting than Gala this week? Seriously. It's how bad that PlayStation Showcase was. Because, like, I don't know if you know this, but, like, PlayStation, they, they put on good showcases, Kevin. Like, really, really good showcases. So, yeah. it, was, it was shockingly bad how bad the showcase was. Bad. Hmm. Lazy mods. More like the mods are controlling the conversation. It is June. It is time to capitalize on that, that month. There's money to be made, guys. Just by adjusting your profile picture slightly. <laughs> the South Railway. So is this map cool? Or do we just fight over this... Ra so wait, 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 is this whole map just like that one Battlefield 5 level where it's just like a big bridge and there's like water in the middle of it? It's kind of like that, yeah. Are those lilac fields over there? Nah, that can't be it. So Kevin, what are you gardening this year? What am I gardening this year? Yeah, what are you um, Sadly, uh, where I live at the moment, there's really nowhere to garden. Oh. Which really sucks. Yeah, I like... It's probably the worst part about this place, because, yeah, if we had, like, tomatoes and all that going the one time, just excellent. Mm. Yeah, I've only got one tomato plant this year. Lemons or what? What was that? Wasn't the lemons Lime. you were doing? Lime. Not, yeah, there you go. I did have a lemon plant. It never really turned out, but now I've got the lime. It's it's doing. It's, limes are so hard to grow in this climate. Like, 
strangely hard to grow, man. Like, really, really goddamn hard to grow. This me off. Meanwhile, I've got like this, what is it, aloe vera plant or whatever? It's like a weed. Yeah. Can't stop that thing. People drink that and like teas and stuff. It's very nice to smush all over your skin. It feels very refreshing. Yeah, isn't it for burns? Yeah, it is. You can do, yeah. Yeah, occasionally I cut off a leaf and I just like splash it all over my face. It's, it's very refreshing. I'm not kidding, it's, it's very nice. Sounds weird, but yeah, I know. It's like this cool, gooey stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, painting simulator by Power Wash? I'd be down for that. A game where you just paint instead of Power Wash? I'm down for it. Hmm. Street Fighter 6? I don't know, man. I feel like that game is like a. It's not as jiggly fun as it used to be. The British folks? Oh, you missed it earlier. We were talking about how we don't like the British because of the blocking of Call of Duty. The only thing we like from them is when they like the stream. So be sure to do that. Did we just do that? We didn't do that, did we? It's been that long. Anyways, yeah, liking the stream, subscribing's great, donations, cool. Consider becoming a channel member of channel memberships, channel member gifting, the Patreon option, the Discord for stream alerts, chatter, and great times. The Xbox Store affiliate link for your Xbox Store purchases, and the Amazon Store affiliate link too. And Kevin joins halfway through. Hey, what's up? I feel like I should put like a outpost down somewhere. Not because I want to, but you know, it's because. Again. Mm. Okay, so are we actually gonna like hold this bridge or like what? No, no, we're, we're losing a horrible it? job. Yeah, we're losing it. I thought we've been holding it for like 10 minutes now. What have we given it's up? It's just for outpost on point two. Oh. And no supplies. Yeah, this is over. My goal is to get that achievement for 100 headshots. I'm at 94. I believe in you. I think I can get it. I've gotten like 20 tonight. I may not have gone positive, but I have been ending some lives occasionally. I'm very proud. Just gotta use a uh, Tommy gun. You know, do that burst fire and eventually get enough headshots. Oh, I just spray with the SMG and I seem to be taking off heads. Yeah. So. yeah. Alright, I think Kevin has better t things to do than sit in the Discord and chat along with you guys. Kevin is a busy, complex guy with games to play. You think you can take time from military sims? No. Military sims are exactly. like... Exactly. You'll super chat $15 if I yell at <laughs> Kevin. I don't really have the capability to yell. Come on, give me your best. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Damn you to hell, Kevin. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Ah. Uh... I don't really enjoy yelling too much, but I can. I'm waiting for you to just flip one day, like you are so stupid. No, I'm just... <laughs> uh, uh, no. You gotta really, really piss me off to get a good yelling. Uh, that's a great game on uh, PC. Mm. Crusader Kings. Oh, is it? It's just controls better. Yeah. Yeah, I, what would it be, the interface or whatever? Yeah, it's like way easier. Shouldn't that make you appreciate the fact that like they even pulled that off on console at all? No, it is actually super impressive that they were able to do that. Yeah. I'm still hoping we get like Victoria 3 and like Hearts of Iron. 
I think. I still haven't it. tried Victoria. All I've ever been told is that it's like the most complex of all the Paradox games. Hearts of Iron, I see like zero reason why you couldn't do that one on Hots. Like, the biggest part is the military movements. But other than that, it, like, the factory building is really easy. Choosing what you're building is really easy. And, like, the focus is, there's not a whole lot to it, I think is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you can get anything working on a controller. I mean, hell, you know, we got, uh, you know, ah, crap, what was it? Ah, jeez, sorry, I'm like, these stupid, is there a way to get rid of these pop-ups? Like what, the vote to kick? Yeah, because it keeps messing up when I'm trying to click stuff. It keeps, like... <sighs> yeah, it keeps messing up when I'm trying to, like, pick on my screen in that. I couldn't find a setting in the thing, and it's just driving me crazy. Anyways, what were we talking about? I'm too Canadian to yell. Oh, quiet. Yeah. I can definitely yell, but it's just like... I feel like I can't yell unless I'm, like, motivated to yell. If that makes sense? Like, I actually gotta be, like, mad about something. Or excited. The revolver looks small. I can't remember what we were talking- Oh, yeah, no, uh... Hearts of Iron, and... Oh, and how they could do anything on consoles? Yeah, yeah, no, Age of Empires. The, the way that one handles on the controller, if they can make that work like that, I don't see why anything couldn't work. Age is one of the few games that I, I honestly don't notice the difference between console and uh, PC. Like, I think it's done that well, but... Other than that, I still, though, there hasn't been too many games I haven't played on PC that, like, my experience wasn't way better. Siege is so fun on PC. Mm. I can get that perspective, but I'm just saying, it's like, there's no reason yeah. they can't make them, like, work. Yeah, actually. Well, so many. I thought that was funny when you were pointing out, uh, like, why isn't Squad on console? You know, and it's it's modern. People really love that theme. You know, and it's honestly, it's no different than Hell at Loose. Maybe the maps are a little wider, but there's a lot less details, like especially like the houses you can go in. Mm. There's no reason that one couldn't come over Hearts of Iron like we were just talking. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Yeah, I could see those ones fitting over. It's just a matter of wanting to sit there and port it and that. I feel like people just say it's too complex just to feel superior because it's not on other platforms, but... I really, yeah, I don't, I don't see why those ones can't come. Like you could yeah. see in the past when you know most games weren't coming to console, but now that like a lot of stuff is and it works, it's kind of like uh, I don't, yeah. Well, it's funny because like that superior feeling I think would just be on like just how it runs on PC compared to console. That like so far it always runs better on PC. It's just something about the style of play, mouse and keyboard. But yeah, for like I don't know why. So many PC players seem so against playing with console players or letting them have the game. You know that I don't get. They want they enjoy exclusivity as much as uh, <laughs> console players do, right? Because like this one, you would get picked off a lot from PC players. The aiming is just that much easier. But like one guy doesn't change the battle it's more about the team playing this game so i i really don't understand why this one doesn't cross play at all or why people wouldn't want it like keep the player base together sort of thing there's certain games like siege though i was talking to my one friend that like siege should never be cross play i do genuinely believe that console players would get smacked it's too intense the controls oh just the recoil on how it handles on mouse is why i love it it's so much more is it's a very pass fast-paced game on console and you're always standing and like at worst you're using the alt walk but like the minute someone starts getting into a firefight with you you want to break into motion on pc oh, or geez. you can do that going back and forth you know like in and out of cover on xbox but i find when i'm playing siege on xbox i'm picking like the smallest little peak hole i can through like two doorways down a hallway and that's kind of how you get kills but you'll just you'll get shot because the movement's too fast on pc if you just try sit still if that makes any sense yeah. no I, I get it yeah i still need my five flawless victories yeah actually should get you in on that when we play again yeah i might have some already 
I don't know where you towel or jack, but I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Given the obscenely realistic this game tries to be, is it actually fun? <sighs> I mean, it depends on that. Like, it's got it's a lot better now that you can actually move quick and stuff, but yeah, this is still pretty, like... The spawning and stuff just kills me. Warcraft 3 could work on console? I mean, you know, if Xbox does... Now turn that frustration into yelling at <laughs> <laughs> that's a funny one that, that kills me but uh you know i'm assuming if xbox does get this activision blizzard deal done at some point warcraft starcraft why wouldn't you port those over to console i mean they did age of empires so why not right warcraft is so basic like, as far as I'm concerned, Age of Empires is, like, way more complex than Warcraft. That's no reason why it wouldn't run even better on Xbox, you know? Yeah, you know, after the whole Warf or Warcraft 3 Reforged debacle. Mm. I think Starcraft would run really well, too, other than, like, I don't think crossplay would work competitively for that. Actually, I, I wonder how crossplay has worked competitively for Age of Empires, because I just imagine anyone on console would just get destroyed. You couldn't move fast enough. Yeah. Like the PC guys were just like way too sweaty. I mean, you just like instantly move around the screen so much faster and pick stuff faster. Yeah. Yeah. Three hot Costco hot dogs to play with Lari. That's too many Costco hot dogs. I've got like this ridiculous backlog of Costco hot dogs. I don't think you guys understand how bad it is. Like, legitimately, there's like, what did I say earlier? 14 Costco hot dogs? And they're getting rid of the, the YouTube stories, so now I can't post that I got my Costco hot dogs to people. I miss the YouTube stories. Why do they take away features that I like? Why? Why can't they take away features that the community likes? You know, like dislikes. Oh, they did that, didn't they? People get so salty about the dislikes being gone. <sighs> it's stupid. <laughs> I get why they did it, but I don't know. Yeah. It's dumb. It's all about money. At the end of the day. It's all about that mad cash. You know what game I think would transfer well, though, to console, and I don't think there would be much of a skill gap like at all? World of Warcraft. Yeah. I, I, I still think, think that one eventually. would play very well. Yeah. I mean, they even added, like, controller support, from what I understand, too, not so long ago. Do you think that will happen with the whole Activision Blizzard getting shut down, or is that, like, absolutely dead in the water for being a possibility in the years to come? I think it's, like, less likely if Xbox doesn't own them, but if Xbox does own them, I'd say it's quite likely that that would happen. Watch all the Blizzard games instantly partner with PlayStation. I mean, there's there's a lot of interesting contracts that are going to be up right now. Xbox has actually been paying for all of the the contracts or the marketing. They paid for the marketing for Overwatch. They paid for the marketing for Diablo. Apparently, they have the marketing for the new Blizzard survival game that's coming out. Uh, yeah, but uh, the the big crown jewel is going to be that that Call of Duty uh, marketing. And that one's going to be coming up soon. So I wonder who's going to snag it. Because it's like, it would be pretty bad if, you know, because the deal, they, they sent the appeal in on the deal the other day. So it could take up to nine months for the appeal to, like, you know, be in progress. And the Call of Duty marketing rights end in 2024 with Black Ops 6. So, like, I'm sure they're going to be doing discussions on how the marketing is going to land. Because, you know, Activision still has to act like a separate company, so... It'd be kind of terrible if Xbox did eventually get to buy them, but then, you know, it was like seven to ten more years of, like, PlayStation exclusivity. Who needs WoW with the wait. DC online? <laughs> what, what? 
I was just going to make a joke. I can't wait in the next, like, 20 years when they make that Netflix documentary on how PlayStation paid off the UK. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the big funny thing today was, like, there was... I think it was one of the Xbox or Microsoft heavy, like, fan sites or whatever, that jazz guy. He, he put out an article about, like, uh, conflict of interest because one of the lawyers was like worked with Sony like 10 years ago and I'm like that's that's such a stretch dude like I'm sure it got people excited but it's like you know they're lawyers I don't think they're you know I don't think you look at diehard Sony fan where he's like you know gonna risk his career just to make sure Sony gets the win on on this thing I was like that's just silly for enough money he would no, I'm yeah. sure. right. <laughs> how often does Kevin flirt with the Customers at Costco? Too often. Every All the day. time. I've almost been fired every day I work there. Yeah. We have such a fun back and forth whenever I visit. <laughs> yeah. I just walk up, I smack him right on the butt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I like cry a little bit because I'm like, that's what the weird kids at hockey used to do. <laughs> I got revived! Oh my god! I've never seen that before. That was the first- I, I'm, I'm shell-shocked. I don't know if it's the explosions or the blood loss, but... I didn't even think that was possible. That is a very tiny revolver. You have this. Why does it look so small? Can you use the revolver in this? It looks really tiny. Like it's like a yeah. tiny, tiny little thing. Have I played the new Starship Troopers Webley. game? Not yet. Not yet. I know there was a Starship Troopers game. Yeah, there's like one for PC that's out. That's like, I think it's like 8 player or 6 player co-op or something. I checked that out. Sounds fun. Yeah, it looks kind of neat. Uh, I don't know if I was going to request it and like missed out. But there's just, yeah, I've No, the only stuff. good bug is a dead bug, right? Damn right. Yeah. So the best kind of bug is the did one. Yeah. That's just fully stretching his ability to, like, delete anyone's comment because he's, like, an ultra high-tier mod. He paid to win in the chat. Keep in mind, guys, there's nothing stopping you guys from paying to win in the chat, too. Nothing. Yeah, I'll pay him. Have more power. Yeah. Just like that. It's kind of like Highlander, but with money. You... Isn't that... Is that Highlander? I'm thinking more like He-Man. I have the oh, yeah. power. Power. Oh, what's What's... what's like the, what, what's the one in Highlander? There can only be uh, one. There can be one, yeah. Yeah. That is kind of filet, though, because he does have the ultra, like, highest tier moderator ship. Hmm. Is that a grenade? Oh, it's a smoke grenade. I thought it was like a real grenade, and I was like, oh no. I think I'm hurting them. I can't tell though. Oh jeez, man, I just got blown up there. It's not, it isn't Viva Pinata Starship Troopers, you're definitely right. It's 16 player PvE. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah. I guess I'll have to go look into that game, maybe that'll be a fun PC thing. Just hide him. I don't think Filet has that kind of power. Actually, to be honest, I don't know what kind of power Filet has, I just know that he has like ultimate power, outside of my more slightly ultimate -er power. So yeah, that's how that goes. Oh, I just got a stern email reply from the people that like sent me controllers telling me that I need to use the controller promo thing right away this time and not be lazy. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Oh, you're a professional, dude. What are you doing? No, you're... 
I got caught up with the 40 hours I had to spend streaming Zelda the other week, so, you know. This is a long time, man. And again, guys, the last 15 minutes are pretty... You know, the first 10 minutes of Zelda are really, really cool, and, like, the last 15 minutes are pretty spectacular, too. Yeah. Apparently, I just like cinematics, I guess. <laughs> Apparently, I just like the cinematics. That's funny. Huh. Wanna slap another outpost down? Hmm, I don't know. Sounds like a lot of work. Ah, there you go, Kevin. There's an outpost. The outpost might be destroyed because that guy was really close. Never mind, it's still good. I got this outpost. You beat Black Ops 1 and 2 after watching my video. What an experience. Yeah, they're pretty good games. They hold up pretty well. Yeah. Co op shooters? I mean, they could be fun. That is true. Larry still does not have a channel membership. There's actually a few people who lost channel memberships, and now I'm sitting here being like, God damn it, I don't think we're going to be able to push to unlock that new emote. Because we were, like, slightly inflated, and I was like, oh, you know, Slaughter does his Halo's infinite stream by, and then, you know, we push a little bit more, we can unlock a new one, but pretty sure some uh, free uh, channel memberships elapsed for some people, so. There goes that dream again for now. I'm waiting for my big break, Kevin, where we get a lot of new viewers and stuff, and I get, like, a ton of channel members. Damn it, dude. New emotes. The Zelda voice actress said Link and Zelda are in a relationship. Uh, I mean, I would assume that was implied by her being, like, you know, them practically holding hands as they went down into the cave, and Zelda being like, I feel safe around you, Link, and giggling. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were I dating. <laughs> Zelda just thinks Link is, you know, like, a very, like, supportive friend. Yeah. yeah. You know, she likes him, but she doesn't like him like that. She never really thought of it that way. Mm. You know, she really wishes that um, he could find a nice girl. You know, someone just like her, but not <laughs> like her, you know? Yeah. I do do you think uh, Zelda's one of those emotionally unavailable women? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. She's emotionally available to lots of other dudes, just not you. She just likes you bigger know, dudes. She thinks you're really <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, guys with, like, houses and cars, you know, and yeah. To be fair, Link can make cars. Or is, does he make cars because he can't afford cars? Ooh, there you go. I don't know. <laughs> Do you think... I think that would be awesome. <laughs> Link keeps doing all these epic quests and keeps going to Zelda and being like, you know, can we be like an item now? And she's like, I'm just not ready for a relationship right now. Relationship, yeah. <laughs> and goes on to date another guy. And Link's like, what? I, I don't want to spoil the end of, of Tears of the Kingdom, but you have to do some pretty crazy stuff for her. <laughs> and I'm like, you just imagine just Link being like, caressing her face, being like, it's time now, Zelda. I need to be king. And she's like, I just don't know if I have room for a king in my life. <laughs> like, yeah, that would be so funny. Uh, she's in her boss girl Other phase. Other girls hitting on Link, but you know he's just not cool enough to realize that he just really wants Zelda for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> he's got all the gals in high rule, but he's like, damn it, it's the you know she's the one he can't have. <laughs> and want her even more. Uh we do the bit where I'm like, hey, yo, like the stream. What? Subscribing's great. Donation's cool. Become a channel member if you feel like it. There's channel member gifting, the Patreon option, the Discord, first stream alerts, chatter, great times, the Xbox store affiliate link, the Amazon store affiliate link, and Kevin is here. So are we winning? Does it feel like we're winning? I mean, this yeah, it feels here. like we're winning big time. Every time they get close, we keep pushing them back out. Hmm. We <laughs> gifted Larry months. That is what happened, yeah. I, I don't know. Like, again, to me, it was, like, pretty damn obvious that those two have been, like, you know, 
interacting and stuff because you've got Zelda all giggly about Link and Link is all stoic and he like throws himself in front of her to like you know save her at the beginning there and, and she is like I feel safe around you Link and she's like you know touchy feely and th they are definitely together there's no way they weren't I don't think Link would go through all the stuff he goes through in that game if he wasn't dating her because <laughs> that would be just crazy like, if it was a maybe thing, and I was in Link's shoes, I would just put my sword, that, like, you know, what's left of the Master Sword, and I'd just be like, I'm out of here. There's other kingdoms. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Go go to wherever Mario's land is and show Mario who's boss. Actually, I think Link's true love in Tears of the Kingdom is the food he cooks. My god, that dude gets so excited when you cook in that. Like, his face just lights up. Seriously, he's just like, whoa! Like, 99% of the game, he's just like, blank face, he goes, hi -ya! But when there's like, food cooking, he's... That's what gets him excited. Is it all Monster Hunter excited? Yeah, yeah. it is. It's yeah, like Oh, it that. does? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Link, Link loves his food. That was my favorite part of that game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cats and the, the little balls or whatever. Ugh. Yeah, that was that was adorable. They had their little like chant and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, if we win, you're not gonna hear the British song. Oh no. It's hilarious. It's that doo 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 doo. doo, -doo. Yeah. That just sounds pretty cool. If you know that one, yeah. I know exactly it's, what you're talking it's about. Very stiff up a lip, chap. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm actually, like, killing people now, though. They've made the speed higher. Japanese, the Japanese games, they love the cooking stuff. They love it. Ah, oh, look at this British guy going about how he's British again. Ruining our beloved Call of Duty on Game Pass. Think of it, I could have had 100,000 subs. Could have had money. Could have had it all. If only Call of Duty could have come on Game Pass. Like, literally, do you know right now, if the British hadn't said no, we would literally be playing Call of Duty on Game Pass? Right? Seriously. Do you think in your Marvel What If, if they did that, you're, like, uber successful right now? I don't know if I'd no, be super, like super successful, so. but I definitely would have had a very nice jump up. You know what my best day was no, on the channel? That was your big break, though. You know, it, what? what? My, my best day on the channel in regards to, like, subgrowth, money, and everything, and views was uh, the day they added all the Bethesda stuff to Game Pass. That's wild. Yeah, that was my big day. Yeah. How do you recapture that? In a Call of Duty list time. Yeah. Hmm. Although I think Call of Duty is, is bigger than, than Bethesda is. That would be British, British ish. <laughs> British ist. Uh, the British took everything. They gave us a queen. Do that me. They took the queen away. There. Uh, I can just see you standing there, you know, like, yeah, this is the British government. Like, you took everything from me, and then their prime minister <laughs> looks at you and he's like, I don't even know who you are. I don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ultra slap in the face, isn't it? I don't even know you. Living in Canada stalking me? Again, there's not much to stalk. There's just not a whole lot of exciting things going on in my day to day. Be really boring stalking, honestly. And it's not even fun, because you don't have to put any effort in stalking. I post, like, everything I'm doing. Yeah. And that one guy's dropping your every second stream. <laughs> it's actually been a long time since that. Has it? Good. good yeah. Good. I hope I didn't just summit it again. All right. Yeah, my address. Hmm. Fifty second read. Can you know what gets me is it's like it's a ten second deploy and then it's like up to fifty second respawn. You know how you can cut that in half? 
giving up on life. Having an outpost. Why do you need an outpost? Because an outpost cuts your uh, spawn to, I think it's 30 or 20 seconds at the most. Oh, how exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Now I wait. Like a whole minute of my life just went by with me sitting here waiting to respawn. A waste of time. In Halo, I could have killed like 10 people. I mean, sure, like if you had ADHD. But no, I'm joking. Sorry. <laughs> That's a whole. And I just died again. I, I took three steps and I got shot. Did you get your outpost down? I didn't even. Dude, I took three steps. Three steps. Back to the garrison with you. No, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta respawn again. <sighs> How long is it gonna be this time? Oh, this garrison spawns only eight seconds. That's nice. It's still at 20 seconds more of my life. I spent a minute and a half waiting to respawn in the last two minutes. Hold X to let go. Yeah. All right, guys, we gotta slap down an outpost for Kevin. We're gonna put it in a really obvious spot. A really obvious spot, so we're just going to get shot. Bam. There you go, Kevin. Boom. Perfect. The outpost is calling. Look at that. 10 seconds to respawn. Ooh, wee. 10 seconds too long. I thought you said we weren't doing well. Oh, now I'm dead. This we're looks doing like extremely we're well. Respawn. We weren't doing well on that last post. Ah, is that outpost still there, or is it gone already? Yes, sir. It's up. We uh. are coming from the east, however. I hate it when they come from the east. That's what I thought. There's only a minute it's left. Probably gonna get shot. Are we gonna hold the line? Oh, the, the outpost is gone. Now I got ten more Should've seconds. Hit it better. Ugh. Yeah, at least with chivalry, you get right back into the action fast. And we lost that place too. We lost the HQ spawn. Damn, dude. We're about to lose the objective. 30 seconds left. I don't. Is there overtime in this? I don't think there's overtime, is there? Yes. Yeah. Um, offense there is, yes, sir. Why? Why would you add something to such an already long game? Who has the time for that? It's like playing Star Wars Supremacy Mode and it just never ends. That was so hilarious when that game mode first came out and like no one knew how to win it properly it took forever so, like, dude yeah it's like okay we'll do I one more match in the stream will end and then it's like hour and a half later god damn it man when will it end please everybody get on points please 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 i can't believe we lost jumps. yeah that's awesome those failures. Our team is useless. New match, dude. New lobby. How could this happen? Kevin, what, what happened out there? I thought you were supposed to carry this to victory, Kevin. <laughs> I blame Command. Oh, I got Omaha. Jump an airhead or something. Let's see how busy this is. I've got a really fast feel in Omaha Beach, dude. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Although I can't tell, are we attacking? Oh, there's only five minutes left, though. Oh. But hey, we can sweep in and get a free victory or loss. I think. I don't know, are we attacking? I think we're defending. Uh, could be worse. Oh, you know, finish this one quick and then get another proper match, and yeah, pretty good. We're losers. You guys are so mean in the chat. Kevin, this is your big moment to come up with an apology speech for the disappointment of what happened. Do it like one of those sports guys.
Never mind. I was hoping for a big rousing speech from Kevin being like, really sucks oh, out there that we lost um, today, guys. You know, we didn't come out uh, to perform. And... There may come a day when we forsake our friends, but it is not this day. For today, we fight. Yeah, I was expecting more of like one of those hockey things where it's like the boys didn't come out and perform, and uh, you know we really, really let ourselves down today, and uh, you know. Oh, I could do a hockey one. I was actually doing Aragon from Return of the King. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we we just weren't on our game, but you know you need your you need your playmakers to be your playmakers, role players to be your role makers, but we just gotta come in hard next period, get pucks in deep, get pucks on net. <laughs> we gotta play our game. Yeah. He's selling your phone. <laughs> That's funny. Man, that uh, Stanley Cup final is going to be not really that fun to watch. No, no. And I so do not want Florida to get anywhere near that. I hope they get swept. There's no way Matthew Kachuk is literally leaving um, Calgary straight to Florida to win a cup right after. So, yeah. Stupid. Kind of a and who wants to, to watch Florida versus Vegas? No one. Like, what What a great matchup, right? The two least hockey-like places. Yeah. The desert and the beaches. And an expansion team who's probably going to win a cup in their sixth year. Like, yay! That's hockey in the modern era. Yeah. Let's there be you go. It's going to be Florida. Batman's league, dude. I so hope it's not Florida. That would just be the biggest kick in the teeth, dude. Probably will be. <laughs> you think if we I, got I good, we could have won? Dominant. They're not wrong. Um, <clears throat> what, like the Flames? No, the, the last match. <laughs> oh. Um, no, I was just on uh, Officers of Command for not getting a garrison up as soon as the last one was lost. And the command not, I don't know, because in Airhead, there's no guarantee that he could have won it with it, but he didn't even at least try that. It would give us one point right on point, because we had people surrounding the point. They didn't have it on lockdown, mm. but we could get enough bodies on point to stop the cap. Yeah, we were too far away so to actually know. get on there. Yeah. But man, Florida. It's actually Minnesota. really Roger Goodell's fault. So how choked are you going to be when it is, you know, those Flames boys winning the when cup it, for Florida? What do you mean? Oh, for Florida? Oh, I absolutely choked. Like, I was joking with my one buddy that, like, oh, hey, uh, you know, there's that Sam Bennett guy and Matthew Kachuk, you know, like, they must have came from teams that really didn't utilize them properly. Like, thank God they're on a team now where successful young talent can win. Because, like, literally, those are our two highest picks ever. I think, what was it? Like, Sam Bennett was fourth and Kachuk was, like, sixth or something like that. Mm -hmm. And, like, there, there they are. On the same line, mind you, having such great success. Like, I was just with my one buddy that it would have been better if we almost just traded Monaghan and Goodrow from the start and just worked on Bennett and Kachuk. Like, I Could don't know. Could have built him up, that built a team around them. Yeah. Now they're never going to leave Florida. Because they're champions. Right? I mean, the Flames didn't even make the playoffs. Right. Or I'll just break into my uh, my hockey conspiracies about how Batman asked Chuck to go to Florida because it was scripted that Florida was going to win. Yeah, okay. They wanted the best American player. <laughs> yeah, it was <laughs> for Florida. <laughs> If it, if it was scripted, it would be uh, Arizona to be winning the cup. The Arizona, yeah. Actually, that was my one buddy's guess, that Arizona was going to win the draft. And that when Toronto lost, Austin Matthew was going to go to Arizona because he's from there. Mm. And that would be their big selling point on hockey in Arizona. And I almost, he almost had me half convinced, dude. But, yeah, thank God that didn't work out. And, you know, uh the chicago a great place for young talent to go to apparently and feel safe got first yep. overall pick yeah of course they did you're aware of all that right oh yeah no i, I watched I, I saw chicago as like yeah. of course they no, got but, like it. chicago's uh wonderful community they built in their franchise hey that's a dynasty organization there legacy yeah. dynasty organization
You know what I'm talking about, though, right? Oh, I definitely know. Oh, okay, sorry, I just, I don't know, yeah, it's a touchy subject, but yeah, like, I, I love that people were literally pointing out that, like, teams had their first rounders stripped for less. Like, New Jersey literally lost their first rounder because they signed a really bad contract, you mm -hmm. know, but Chicago literally has, like, some of the worst allegations you can have, and, yeah, there, there's no consequence, here's a first rounder. Well, you know, it's first about overall money. pick. Always about money. We did win what that last they match. They sold something like two million after they got Bernard. Hmm. Yeah, like... No, I get you. Did you find a good lobby? Keep shoving me into this. Uh, not yet. I was now. just getting my points. Wait, I have to wait longer to get points. Yes, sir. Oh, I didn't like those points, anyways. I never needed those points. Those points did nothing for me. But I really needed six more headshots. Alright, I've got a... semi-good sand level. So... Yeah. The quarantine map was no good? There just wasn't anybody in it. Like, 30 players. That was with people filling it. But anyways, I got us this lovely sand level. With 60 players. Unless you can find something busier. I'll try. Are you reddish? Uh, nope. I got the MP40, so I'm assuming I am the Germans. I believe you would be right. <laughs> it's a worldwide thing to... Do you know how bad Chicago is? Yep. I'm in the back of the car with this guy that looks like... Oh, he's gone. Never mind. Looks like I'm the only one in this car. Okay, well, that's going to be a lonely drive. I don't suppose the driver wants to talk to me. Okay. Hey, look, there's a new guy. He looks young and hasn't been shell-shocked yet. If anything, it looks like he's falling asleep. To realize it was that boring of a, of a drive. Sand is coarse and rough, it gets everywhere. Have I tried cloud gaming on my phone? Yeah, I tried it on an Android phone, I tried it on an iPhone. Pretty cool. The cloud gaming thing actually has been running a little bit better too, I've noticed. Uh, yeah. There's not a gazillion lines through your screen now? No, it's, just, it's getting a lot better. Yeah, it was actually last time I used it to do some video stuff, it was like, you know, I was actually, if we were going to play Siege, I was going to use the uh, cloud streaming for it. Take some space. <laughs> Want to cloud stream and try to get flawless? No, I'm, I'm I'm that good at that game. And I'll work on other things while we're doing it too. Awesome. Yeah. I'm not even kidding, man. I'll do it. I have that much belief in my ability to siege and to get your likes on the stream. What? Subscribing, script donations, cool, <laughs> consider becoming a channel member, perks, emotes, icons, all that great stuff. Channel member gifting, patron option, the Discord for stream alerts, chat at great times, and those affiliate links. Yeah. Am I playing on the Series X? Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? It's definitely not the Wii U. We I lost think the Wii U would be like the best. Oh god, can you imagine this on the Wii U? It would be like 5 frames and it would look like 720 or less P. Probably be like 300 P, let's be honest. So we lost the valley. It took so long to drive. We literally... Is this... We're just defending too, aren't we? I want to see uh, Crusader Kings on the DS. On the DS? Oh my god. Yeah, on the DS. On that the DS. Daisy. Not even the 3DS, just the DS? Yeah, it's just the yeah, so, or whatever the newest one is. I don't know. Man. My dream port is seeing Daisy on the Switch. I think it would just be terrible. That would be awesome. Yeah, you know, like bad performance, bad internet connectivity, <laughs> bad controller scheme. <laughs> you drive for two seconds and the whole game crashes. Yeah, I always wanted to see that because I'm like that would just be terribly awesome. 
Yeah, that was that was my dream port was wanting to cover that on the switch. And an outpost for us out in the Rocky Hills. Ah, these vote kicks piss me off. One time I had like eight vote kicks in like thirty seconds. I was like, just stop, stop with the vote. I'm glad kicks. they added it on console though. I mean, it's good, but it's also like sort of annoying. It should be like an optional. You click a button and then you like, you know, interact with it. So they took the valley. We didn't even get to go to do the fun stuff. Hmm. It also feels really weird playing on a sand level. Also, this cloth doesn't move? I miss the old game physics. You know, you play like Splinter Cell and like you can like move right through curtains majestically and stuff. Isn't that so cool? Yeah, the old... Like, yeah, in the old swim. So I remember, yeah, if you were going, like, by the curtains, they'd move. I also thought it was really neat, uh, the one thing, and it's, like, just the most simple thing in the world, but where you would shoot on the fish tank, the water would drop specifically to that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, super little things. Little physics and stuff. Yeah. Games are too large and complicated to add fun stuff like that anymore, though. That is where I will give some praise to Tears of the Kingdom, you know, like physics are crazy in that game. Like, you light a fire, the forest lights on fire, you know, stuff like that. But then again, when you're just, just using curious. the same world plate and just adding to it, you know, you've got time for that too, right? You think that these guys are honestly just lazy and underpaid? In certain instances, <sighs> like Xbox, you've complained about it a lot, but it really seems like in a lot of projects, like even Halo, that they just didn't care. You know, like, for how long Halo came out with the whole joke of, well, what did Infinite look like when they said it wasn't ready to release? Yeah. Like, was it just Master Chief standing in a white box? Like, that honestly seems like a total management or, like, Jesus, you could almost, like, accuse them of embezzling money and just sitting there saying they're making a game. Yeah, they you know, on instances of that. Several yeah. years on Halo Infinite. Well, the other thing is, like, most game development gets done in, like, the last eight months or so. So, yeah, they've kind of, like, companies have gone away from crunch time, because crunch time is terrible, but, like, I just think they really don't know how to, like, properly manage and execute on delivering a game and not just, like, pumping out a game its entire development in, like, eight months and spending, like, years planning. I think, yeah, game development's just in a really awkward stage right now. Right? Like, I don't know. I, I feel like some of these things could get done. I also feel like the gaming community is extremely weird, though, too. Like, there are so many... You, there are projects that come out that are actually quite successful, but no one has interest in them. You know, or that there's, like, a frame drop at some point, and people will literally, like, mock the game when otherwise the game's fine. And, like, some games that, like, have barely anything to them but run in 4K are all of a sudden, like the greatest game ever made and it's like well what is there to it you know like if i was a game company would i even care about adding really neat physics if i know half these like i don't know for lack of a better term nerds aren't even going to care about it if it doesn't run at a certain performance level or something that's I don't know. uh that's a big yeah. thing is the eye candy element visual cell yeah, games like that seems more important than anything else right and then you you know you got these Pokemon games that run like hot garbage and they sell like bazillions times more than God of War, which is super polished. Or you got like Zelda here, which runs at like I, I don't know if there was a fight in Tears of the Kingdom that didn't drop frames immediately, but you know 10 million copies in three days and it's like some. Uh... Well, that one's weird because if any other game did that, I feel like it would just get absolutely mocked. Yeah, the, you know, it's the like Pokemon's stuff, name is big enough. Yeah, that like Pokemon could do whatever and people would still buy it, sort of thing. That's exactly how it Or is. maybe the game is honestly that awesome and it doesn't matter that it runs poorly. People just enjoy it for what it is. Uh, you raise good points in multiple categories. Yeah. Hmm. Something about sand, cloud gaming. Am I gonna update my cloud review at some point? Possibly. Xbox's big selling point outside of Game Pass? Uh, I don't know. 
They own Bethesda. They might own Call of Duty. The ecosystem? I don't know, man. What, what, what does Xbox have for you, Kevin, outside of Game Pass? What is Xbox? Oh, God, I don't know. Um, actually, moving to PC, really nothing. I actually thought it was really funny when they took Hearts of Iron off Game Pass. I was like, oh, you just did a great job of selling that game to me on Steam. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. No, I don't know what uh, Xbox really offers much at all, because, like, I don't know. Every every game you can get on Xbox, you can get on PlayStation at the moment. Just about like I can't think of any like excellent like Xbox only exclusives and yeah. Redfall. I think the biggest selling point, if you have console only over PlayStation, would be Game Pass. But that's really up and down, you know, depending on whether they Got your favorite game's still on that. there. Yeah, yeah. But it's still it's a it's a really sweet deal if you're on console. I guess if it's, like, a long-term thing, eventually all the Bethesda stuff will be exclusive. If you're taking, you know, that PC out be... of the equation. Yeah. Like, you know, you, you're gonna tell me you're gonna miss out on, like, Fallout? And, like, Elder Scrolls? And oh, it's Doom? Starfield is a huge hit. You know, Starfield. Starfield 2 is only on Xbox, like... Yeah, they Xbox does need selling points like that because other than literally other than Game Pass, if I was going to buy a console, you know, it, I I couldn't blame anyone for buying PlayStation or Xbox because I'm not gonna lie though, I don't see what's so awesome that PlayStation has unless you're really into the grand single player stories like God of War and heavy stuff cinematic like that. third person over the shoulder games that are mature. Yeah, the same. Thing over and over. Like, I don't know if you are into that style of game. It's, they're like, yeah, they're cooking good for you. You know they're actually. You. Yeah. They're moving away from that. Really? Yeah, they're doing the games as services. Fifty percent of their games over the next however many years are going to be like live service games, so like Fortnite type stuff. Yeah. So that'll be interesting to see how that impacts things for them. But yeah, I don't know. I just like if they do own like Activision Blizzard. I mean, they sell that those IPs and stuff you can enjoy on the platform, and it just really depends on how you look at it from like a short term or a long term perspective, right? Yeah. Well, at the same time too, like it's not like Xbox is doing the hurt. Game Pass. If you are on console only again, Game Pass is not a bad deal. Um. And you can play just about all the games. If you're, I'm not into the super cinematic driven over the third per shoulder, third person, whatever you were just describing. Like, I don't care. So they're great games, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they are. I'm sure, yeah. you know, like there's a reason like God of War is the hit. It is like, I, no one could deny that it's not a beloved series. Right. But, but keep in mind, those I don't know, like, really poor running awful set up Pokemon games. So double. God of yeah. War did in like a week. I think that's just the brand name of Pokemon though. Like Pokemon is huge in the West and East combined. Yeah. I don't know if you know all you of give Southeast it to them, Asia is dying to get God of War. That's crazy. Like for God of War though, God of War was the fastest selling like PlayStation IP ever, and it did like I think they said eight million or something, five million in a week or something like that. And then you got like Pokemon doubling that, and then Zelda yeah. did ten million in three days. It's like. Those Nintendo exclusives are on, like, another level of intrigue. But I guess it's also, yeah. like, you've got... I think they said 3 million sales from Zelda were in Japan alone. Like, that's crazy. Like, Western or, like Western gamers, we don't support our platforms like that at all. Like, not yeah. even, you know... Like, I, I don't even think you could get a you know major IP that's, like, exclusive in, like, the U.S. and push, like, 3 million... Well, it's our million sales in three you days. You sell a Western style game as buy Western style games, or you would be seen as a jerk, you know? Yeah, it's just like. Yeah. But seriously, though, like to sell three million in just Japan in three days, like. Yeah. 
Damn, dude. It would be crazy if we, like, you know, locals here, West or North American people, supported their, you know, brands like that. It would be crazy. That's nuts, dude. I guess our biggest thing would be, like, Endgame. Because everybody went out for Endgame, and that made, like, you know, box office here, like, printed money. Actually, I think Star Wars, The Force Awakens, the reason that one is so high is because the domestic box office was absolute insanity for that film. That was, I still joke till the day I die that that was the biggest con in movie history, though. The Force Awakens, like, yeah, I was just so redid excited the for the next Star Wars. Yeah, it, it, honestly, they redid four. They did very cheesy, horrible jokes, Disney-style writing. Hey, yeah, but we were so like, desperate and so deprived of Star Wars. I was so excited, and I will... I, that was a heck of a movie experience. Um, when Kylo Ren took off his helmet, I laughed. I snickered out loud, and my friend beside me did, too. Dude, he, Dude's a great actor, but he does not look like an intimidating Sith Lord. They should have kept the mask on. It was hilarious. Um, Keep the Han mask Solo on. Died. I was... I was very disappointed. That was the cheesiest death scene I'd ever seen. Just to, it was to kill him, just to kill him. It was horribly done. I mean, and that is what he got asked in the for. Car, I know, right? But like, oh my god, you couldn't have written something slightly cooler. And then when we got in the car, my buddy's girlfriend was like, "Well, that wasn't a very good movie." And we both were like, "Yeah, but like, th that wasn't the best Star Wars had to offer." Like, we literally had to defend the series to her because she never really watched star wars before and yeah she didn't like that like i don't know that force awakens was the biggest scam ever i, I, I just wrote on that everyone loves star wars sorry with the uh, tears of the kingdom maxing out the switch i think the argument could be made that breath of the wild maxed out the switch six years ago because tears of the kingdom is so visually and somewhat like close to to tears or tears is so close to breath of the wild that it's kind of like i think they maxed out years ago and tears just kind of like slightly pivots in a physics direction for new technology but yeah anyways star wars how much can you donate to put kevin on mute how much money do you have Poor i kevin. assume the price isn't that high well you know we're all desperate for cash out here in this economy yeah kevin is here battling with us to the end guys Viva Pinata would be a bigger <laughs> the Viva Pinata the movie would be bigger than Shawshank and Avatar. James Cameron's Avatar. I hate how well those movies do. I really genuinely do. I can't believe we're gonna get like four or five of those Avatar movies. I just like I can't. Ugh. Jeez. Cinema is you don't just. I think that's the greatest dead. series ever made. Uh, it it seems to be considering you know it's in the top. Two of them are in the top, what, three movies of all time? So, yeah. Actually, you know what's crazy is uh, Tarantino there. He's, he's making his last film. Oh, yeah, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, this is his tenth and last movie that's uh, that's coming out soon. Or he's, he's going to start filming it soon. And he's, he's like, I'm done. He's like, the movies, they aren't what they were. Right, it's over. Yeah. How is the multiplayer in this game? Slow. <laughs> but faster now. Slow, but faster now. Yeah. 50 channel memberships? I don't know. How much do we charge for the infinite stream? 20? 20 channel memberships? I'd, I'd say 20 channel memberships, and we'll, we'll give Kevin the, the unceremonious uh, boot. Yeah. Yeah. 20 channel memberships. That's it? 20? Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, that's yeah. like five bucks a pop, man. <laughs> there you go. That's going to be done tonight now that you put that out there. Hey, dude. Five bucks a pop on those memberships. Uh, Filet's just like pulling out of his wallet right now. That's, you know, that's not bad money. That's not bad money at all. Think of all the Costco hot dogs. I could buy you a Costco hot dog. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? You're, yeah, Kev, you're on uh, mute for a while, but here's your Costco hot dog. <laughs> Hell, for 20 channel memberships, you can have two Costco hot dogs, Kevin. Two. Yeah. I don't know, but 
yeah, I guess I can't believe Tarantino's is going to be done with, with movies. He's like, if I keep making movies, what are they going to be? Like on Apple or something? And he's like, I want them to be in the theaters. So this, this is his last film. I've, I've got the, the details here. He just announced it today. It's going to be called The Movie Critic. It takes place in California in 1977 and is based on a guy who really lived but was never really famous. He used to write movie reviews for a porno magazine. He's just going to put the most sex ever on a TV. <laughs> like a movie screen, you know, ever. It's going to be the most awkward movie. And he's, he's mentioned... Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio nope, will nope. go at it at some point. No? He says Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt are too old for this world. He hasn't decided yet, They're but it's going to be somebody old, yeah. 35 years old-ish to be his new leading man. And I it can't be a Brit. All the classics. You know, like DiCaprio, uh, Brad, um, oh, I'm forgetting his name, but that amazing uh, German actor. Christoph Waltz? Yeah, Christoph Waltz, yeah. Like, it should just be, like, the biggest send-off of, like, all his classics. All of his guys. Samuel Jackson should show up. Oh, what if what if you did a uh, a Tarantino movie where all his characters got put in the same universe? It would be intriguing, almost like a spoof on itself. But I'm sure he wouldn't like that. No. He's too good for that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. He always hits me as too pretentious to do that kind of thing. But man, what a what an odd ending. He's like, yeah, no, DiCaprio and, and Leonardo. They're too old for my final masterpiece. That's interesting. But yeah, his last movie is just going to be about a movie critic. That's, that's it. And then he's done. Yeah. He says he never wants to do any more again. Until he wants more money. You know, sure. really, he says he'll do TV and stuff, but... Uh, yeah, that's that's it. I could actually I couldn't buy us a hot dog right now because they're not open. It's you know the middle of the night. Sadly, we cannot go to Costco to get a hot dog. Yeah. Sadly, not. Can I come buy my lunch tomorrow. Just show up with like three different Costco hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, if I if I can get up early enough. Uh. Gonna have those channel memberships. Costco hot dog lunch. What do you get? Like the chicken strips. That's pretty pricey, you know. Always. Actually, uh, still an excellent deal for what you got. That poutine is amazing. Hands yeah. down, one of my favorite things to eat there. Pizza, though. Can't do it. I don't like the pizza. No. Um, honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of the hot dogs. Like, they're good, but I get, like, they make me burp, and it's just gross. Like, I don't know. They, I don't feel good after eating the hot dogs. Shame. But those chicken strips are really good. They and, are hard um, on the stomach, yeah. the hot dogs. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like, they, they taste great. It's not like they're they're bad. Like the pizza is like genuinely bad. I think. Yeah, the hot dogs are hard on the yeah. system, but it's it's worth it yeah. for that value. It's also worth it to get your likes on the stream. What? Oh, hey! What yeah, that? subscribing rate and all that other stuff. I have not seen somebody in like fifteen minutes. Are they attacking? Honestly. I see really I'm big explosions. Just, uh, I've been getting shot. I have not seen anyone in like 15 minutes. Get on a hill. Like the hill where all our guys are, or what? Yeah. If you can see where I am, these are guys here. Yeah, because I just like, I keep going over this valley. I see all our teammates, but I keep getting shot on the way over, and it's driving me crazy. A video where I gift everyone in the Costco a hot dog? That would be very expensive. How much money do you think I make on here? I think you could do it once. It would be a great promotional thing. They get like... Run around like Mr. Beast sort of thing, looking like a douchebag. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly it. They like, they do door counts of like, what? Hundreds? Actually, I don't think we can talk about door counts. Anyways, yeah. Holy Costco is huge, let's put it that way. Yeah, they get a lot of people. Yeah. Not to mention people that work there, too, and... Uh, yeah. 
Or what if you just bought a whack load of hot dogs and ran up to random people in the aisles like, hey, here's a hot dog. Would people take that, though? I don't think I though? would accept that. I wouldn't. I was just thinking myself, I don't think I would accept that. I'd be like, what'd you do to it? You know, like, I'd sit there, there I'd be like, that's guy. really sketchy. Uh, yeah, especially if someone was there filming, too. I'd be like... Right? Huh. <laughs> Eat this on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No way, buddy. Damn. The British food. Uh, the British, they took away our god. <gasps> but yeah, Tarantino's gonna be done. An odd movie to end his career on, too. Right? I wonder if he just gets bored after, like, five years or something. Right? He says he'll write TV, but, you know. Well, how better to sell his next movie after as the return of Tarantino? Exactly. He's back! Oh, it's like it'd be great, right, for some director to just claim every movie is his last, you know, and, like, get that gimmick going. Some of them do that. They literally, like, they want to retire, and then they're just bored. Like, there's some directors. Like, I think there's a Japanese one who's, like, 93, and he's just, like, he was retired, like, six times, but he's just, like, I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> Like, you've got, uh, what is it, Scorsese there. He's like, I realized how old I am. And I realized that I just want to start making my best movies ever, but I'm too old. And I'm like, that's really interesting. Hmm. That is actually interesting. I wonder, wonder what about making movies really stops you from age. Like, literally, all you have to do is almost show up. And, like give directions like unless you're just so old you don't want to deal with the headaches which i guess that could be the case but moving around i would imagine would be easy making sure everything you have goes. to push you in a chair you know like i don't know well, i mean what's his name still directing uh clint eastwood and he's an old all right hmm actually i figured out why clint eastwood does his movie so quick like if you don't know about him his movies are done really fast really under budget and like really, really quick like he doesn't do multiple shoots and stuff like that so apparently the reason he does that is if he delivers under budget any extra money he gets to keep crazy eh oh really oh uh, that's so let me guess all his movies are under budget yeah because that's his thing it's, it's been a marvel that I've, I've looked at for years as he just does limited takes he gets his movies always done super super fast like compared to any other films and they're always extremely under budget and i figured it out because he just gets to pocket it obviously yeah that's funny unbelievable i would honestly at that point just make like a paranormal activity like movie like 30k that, that's exactly it's like, like his 500 films. million dollar project 500 million and that's a problem but you know he does his films really fast and some of them are good but some of them are and yeah and the dude's like what 90 something hmm I did kill some guys but I'm still not getting that goddamn good. achievement yeah, this guy's out on ping. I don't know what that means. You mean like somebody just pinged them? Is that where does that show uh, up? Just on ping. Like if you see my little explanation point over there, moving around that hill, just absolutely crawling with threats. Now we should kill all the Tommy British we can. Will. They took away our call of duty, yeah. and that's why we have to play this game. Looks sandy. Do you turn off the film grain in this? God, uh, no, I've never done that. I'm kind of debating on it. it. Makes it so goddamn hard to see. Like it looks cool, but it makes it so hard to see stuff. Whoa, a howitzer shot! Like right, right where I was. Damn, dude, that was crazy. I'm not a medic, but I will hit you in the face with my shovel. Do I get team damage if I kill an unconscious teammate 
or not kill them, but like slap them in the face with a shovel after they're dead. After they're down? I actually don't know. I know if you hit blow them up with a grenade so that they can't be revived, yeah. But I don't think the shovel does that. Okay, because I slapped them in the face and blood comes out. Yeah. This is I so intense, guys. Because my screen's blurry. Oh, Kevin, you die? Oh, I died too. Ah. <sighs> He's 90, you thought he was in his 80s? No, he's old, man. He's old. He won't be around too much longer. Or actually, it would be pretty funny if he just, like, keeps on. Keep it on forever. It's like 150 or something. That guy won't die. Just imagine, like, doing something, like, work-wise in your, like, 90s. But I mean, you've been doing something like that for so long. What else are you going to do, right? It would have to be something where you were in charge. You know, like, I don't know. Mm. I mean, it's, it's all he knows, that, though, right? Yeah. Well, I always thought, I've had a couple people I've worked with, like, time to time go on about how, like, oh, I... I always work, you know, like, I, I could work 16 hours a day, and I'm like, man, you need a hobby. You know, like, I work so I can go home. I love going home. I love doing my own thing, you know, like, yeah. But there are, there's just some people that their whole life is about working. I don't know, I guess all the power to you, but... That's what you enjoy, and that's what you enjoy. Okay, I can put a garrison up. Should I just put it right in the middle of this desert? Like, right in the middle? I gotta do it! Screw it! Right in the middle. That's actually fine, Garrison. Don't say that, Kevin. It's supposed to be spiteful. Uh, no, just... That at gun should kill me? It should have at least concussed me. You would think. Actually, I don't know. The, the, the giant rock in front of you. And it gets hit by, like, you know, a big cannon shot. It would absolutely rattle you. Actually, if it's hitting the rock in front of you, you might take the shrapnel from the rock. That could kill you or seriously damage you. One of the biggest issues they had in World War One on the Italian front, because they were fighting around oh, the, the rocks. Oh, the rocks, all the shrapnel. Yeah, it was the rocks and that. And yeah, literally, some of the pictures of the poor guy's faces that would get blown to bits by the rocks, just horrible. But I mean, sucks to suck. if the rock doesn't explode and it just takes the hit in front of you but cracks in half, I mean... If it's right in front of you, it might daze you. That's, that's a lot of energy. I don't know. Like, at, at most, you're just going to feel, like, the concussive force of, like, the shock, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, it would knock yeah, you on your yeah, back, yeah. I think. You would live. Yeah, you would live. Yeah. I mean, you might be perfectly fine other than just getting, like... You know, sort of. Two things you'd back. have to watch for with like impacts and that, and I don't know that it would be enough impact is uh, shrapnel from it or the force that it doesn't rupture any organs or anything mm. like that. Like just that shock wave. If it ends up blowing an artery in your heart, you're dead, right? Like. Yeah, no, I, I get that, but I, I feel like at least where I was positioned, like the rock just kind of just took it, and I think. In real life, it would yeah. just take the hit. You would just be like, whoa. I'd probably find it. Yes. In that situation. Hmm. Yeah. I do wish there was more, like, action going on here. I kind of, like, I need... What did I say? Six more headshots? Yeah. And it's just like... Basically, I was really hoping I was going to get that system shock demo. Hmm. Yeah, it is interesting the system shock remake is finally coming. That was one of those games I just was like, I didn't know if it would ever actually come out. So we're actually going to hold this then, eh? Uh, by the looks of it, yeah, this is... 
My one issue with this map is I just don't see how you win on offense, man. It's too it's open. Such an open, yeah. There's literally no cover, and it's not even like, like it's kind of carved a little bit, but it's not sloped enough where you actually like get coverage to go from one place to the next. Because if you look at the value here, it's like, or it's the valley here. How the hell do you get across that? Yeah. This one's really hard. At least I saw on PC with like the steady aim of the MGs. It's just like a like, wet dream, you know. I would also think for snipers it would be, yeah, pretty phenomenal. I I eat very generic, easygoing food. Otherwise, it upsets myself. <laughs> so I don't really like spicy or crazy things. Costco hot dog forever. You guys talk like I eat Costco hot dogs all the time. I do enjoy them though. They're they're definitely something to get while I go there, unless it's like the sun. Have you had the Sundays there? I have not. I really do want to though. They look really good. Highly recommend them. They're all great. I'm really into the field berry right now. But like, if you get like yeah. the caramel, it's actually like hot, hot. It's neat. Yeah, I, I do recommend them. I think they're only like four bucks. They're they're actually well worth the cost. And you get the swirl in there too. Obviously, you you, know, you want a mix of ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> ah, the class actually got really good food. It does. I just wish they would bring more items in. It's a limited. Yeah, basically, like, COVID, you, you just lost food items and they didn't add anything else. You used to have, like, the provolone was pretty good. What did good. they used to have? Yeah, they, they had, like, a provolone sandwich, uh, they had chicken wings. It was a spicy chicken burger, but not at the Costco near us. Um, I think that was it for here. Not a whole lot more, but, you know, it was more items. And, you know, in the States, they have, like, shakes and chicken bake and... There's like salads and stuff. Like we really, really limited here. But you know, the people in the states are always so jealous because they don't have a poutine, and I'm like, really? That's that's the big selling point. It's just cheese on fries, guys. That poutine is incredible. That is really dude, good. Like, yeah. 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 And it's filling. Like I can oh, eat chicken is. strips and all that, you know, and like still work. But I love eating the poutine. I spend like my next like 10, 20 minutes in shift, like moving slow because hmm. I'm full. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I just, I, I just wish there were some more choices. Something more. Is Battlefront worth the cost? I just get it on the whatever subscription service thing. I mean, for eight bucks, yeah, why not? Good campaign, multiplayer is still fun and lively. Why, why, why not go for it? Ikea hot dogs? They used to be good, but they keep raising the prices of them, and it's like, you yeah, know, the Ikea stuff's not worth it anymore. The saddest part was when the Ikea breakfast raised its prices. It used to be a dollar, and you'd pay a dollar for, like, pancakes, and you'd pay a dollar for more pancakes, and you'd pay a dollar for chocolate milk, pay a dollar for, like, cash browns. It was great. You could get, like, a whole huge meal for, like, ten dollars or something. Yeah, I had, like, at one point, there was this date I had planned to go to, like, Ikea, and I was like, the breakfast there is amazing, it was like a dollar or something, and I looked it up, and I was like, oh, they got rid of the dollar breakfast, so I was like, son of a... I had really talked it up, too. Absolute Chad play to take a girl on a date to Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> she was, uh, she, she was into that stuff, I'm into that stuff. I like I like. Alright, why not, man? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, I think she needed, like, it was, it was a while back, I think she needed, like, a garbage can or something. Like, there was a reason we needed to go to Ikea, and I was like, well, we'll go to Ikea together. She's like, oh, that'd be awesome. I was like, yeah. Do, like, the tour, get the breakfast for, like, a buck. It's like a whole thing. Seriously. It's like a day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just do weird-ass stuff. Saying like, oh yeah, someone else I was like, I was like, oh, you, you want to go to like the museums? And she's like, the military museum? And I was like, the hell would I want to take you to a military museum? 
We do have a good military museum. Well, that would be pretty cool. But like, you know. I, I don't know if it's something you take a gal to, especially when you're getting to know her and stuff. Let's go to the military museum. I was like, no, the because we have an actual museum here. Well, it's under renovation now. You know, the Glenville, like, it's actually like a pretty, pretty decent kind of place. And... That's an awesome museum. Yeah. His, like, Heritage Park is pretty cool, but you mean, you have to both be into that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. Well, that's it. I think it just totally depends what they're into. Like, I was watching this one guy uh, give his take on how, like, oh, you know, like, wearing sports stuff or taking a girl to, like, a sports thing is, like, a horrible date. Oh, I know, and it's, like, what a stupid thing to say. Like, is she actually is. really into sports? Yeah, because that would be an excellent date to into that. She's never watched a sport a day in her life, and, you know, well, well, yeah, I know, it's a horrible day. Yeah. Uh, That's the thing, like, if you know the type of person, they like weird things, like, you know, Kia might sound really silly, but if you're, like, if both into, into that, that, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Would you make your own food at Ikea? I mean, you did, like, for the breakfast, you used to, like, pick it, and it, it was it was a whole thing. A wildlife. This is a nature photos photos channel. Come on, man. Wildlife channel. Nature photos. Shame. Shame. This <laughs> I think it's those clothes off more than faster than historic military antiques. Historic <laughs> military. Oh. I think that girl would be fun. If she goes to a military museum and then wants to spend time with you after, that's got to be one freaky gal. Or a questionable gal. Wait, oh, the 1984 Fortnite thing? Oh my god, I remember that. Oh, that is funny too. <laughs> they got a freeze frame of me when you said you're not a huge fan of the Costco hot topics. <laughs> uh wiped up at Costco. I actually, I think that would be, that was somebody on the Costco subreddit said that the one day is that Costco should offer a dating app and it's like, you know, you can go do your shopping together and go get like a hot dog and chat along the way. Efficient and fun. I'll always say it was great having those those gals swoon over me that one time when I'm like, yeah, I've got a Costco membership. And like, oh! It's like, yeah, anyone can buy one. It's not even that expensive. All right. I was punished? Oh, his name is I. Oh. I was like, why did I get punished? But my teammate named I, why did my teammate named I shoot me? It's so weird. Wait, one? All right, well, I guess that's a good point to call it. So did you, did you enjoy that victory, Kevin? Yeah, it was a great victory. I feel victorious. Five headshots away. God damn it. Do you feel victorious? No. Didn't get my five headshots. Oh man, what do you do?